We're coming out the gate with a Patreon Whoa. shout outs. Let's get it. We ain't did Whoa. it in a while. I'ma shout out Maximilian. Nigga sound like he out you getting money like LeBron. Shout out John B. Nigga sound like he got hoes cause he like to sing. I'ma shout out nigga Mike G cause he sound like that nigga in the street. Gotta shout out Nick White. Nigga probably rap, but he don't even write. Shout out to Rome. Nigga probably sitting at the house all alone. Gotta shout out Grady. Nigga probably should have been a Brady. Shout out Ryan Ryan. I know that nigga lying. Joshua P. I don't know shit that rhyme with Joshua. But P? Shit. Nigga probably green. Shout out Black DB Cooper. Nigga jumping out of airplane thing. Shout out to Dean. Nigga probably green. Shout out Psychosis. I ain't got shit to say about psychosis. That nigga big as hell. <laughs> Shout out Big Tim. Nigga probably in some Big Tims. Eric Combs. Wish he probably was related to Puffy Combs. I don't know what's going on. Shout out Big Mike. Nigga probably big in real life. Shout out Heavy D. You could tell from the name, he Heavy D. Shout out you Day All Star. Nigga probably somewhere in All Star. Shout out Vince 23. Everybody wanna be like Mike in a 23. Pair of Jordans. But some niggas can't afford them. So they ordering from China. I'm just being honest. <laughs> Shout out to Sam. Shout out to Cam. Shout out to Jay. Shout out to Stray. King Joseph. We got the same name. Except he spelled his with a L. Shout out to Anthony and Esteban. I hablé Espanol just in case you ain't know. Gotta shout out Kojo. And one time for my dog, Tremaine. TJ Willow up in this thing. See, y'all, y'all ain't know the beat was finna loop. I did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I had to give it a break. Man, I got our shout out Tim. Nigga ain't got big in front, so he probably little Tim. But shout out to him. Shout out to Frank. Chris Tokyo. GPS on. Shout out to Ladon. Shout out Adam and G Bo. Nigga probably rob you for your fucking free throw. That's some fucked up shit. <laughs> but shout out Gerard and Steven. You gotta tell them what the fuck you believe in. Shout out DJ Larry. Nigga got the drops. Shout out Jonathan. That nigga eating pork chops. Shout out the trap. Shout out to Josh. Shout out to Toaf. Shout out to Tristan. Millie Millie Rockin. Chloe Hotline. Probably somewhere right now writing some rhymes. Shout out to Steven. And we got Nas. I ain't talking Nas. Like Nasty Nas. Then we got Mo. Shout out to Cedric. And we got Banks. That nigga can't read. Shout out to Mike. Russ Solo. And we got Aaron. Who else? Doe. Got no mad. He don't know where you wanna go. Cause that nigga like the wrong. Shout out Andre, Kenneth FS, Jamal Shakur, Gold Side, nigga from the Gold Side. Then we got Talladega Knights, and we got Frank. Nigga sound like he'll rob you for. I don't know what Frank will rob you for. But shout out to Ryan, nigga probably trying, or he somewhere crying. Shout out to Nick, shout out Darius. I know he got gel in his hair, that shit thick as hell. Shout out Cameron. Paperwork Sam, nigga probably someone selling codeine, damn. Shout out to Rand, shout out to Hype, I know you feel it. Damn, I think that bitch guilt, bro. That bitch looped again. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, I gotta fix that shit. Man, shout out Stefan, and we got TC, then we got DQ, and Siobhan Tatu, and we got Earl, then we got Keith A, and Sliced Bread, nigga big as hell, and we got Core and Alonzo, Dead Stock Dev and Candace. God damn. That's a whole lot of names. That's a lot of motherfuckers, man. Shout out everybody on the Patreon. Happy belated to Candace also. Oh, yeah. It's Happy her birthday big, last week, man. Big shout out to Candace. You Hit know that round of applause button for her, Joe, man. Yes, sir. And I hit the right button. Oh, applause to that, too. Applause to you hitting the right button, man. We're going to do it. Quick round. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir, man. Shout out to everybody on the Patreon. Sign up to the Patreon. Patreon.com backslash REO podcast. Get the episodes early. If you on the Patreon right now, you get to see our lovely faces on the live stream right now. Early. Early as surely. Talk to them. All right, man. We got a special guest in this motherfucker, man. Where we at, man? This episode been in a make it for a long time. Eric been hitting me up for like yeah. two years now. <laughs> Every month telling me 
we need to do an episode with DJ from what, what's your podcast, DJ? Live from the 904. Live from Talk the 904. to him. Yeah. We, hey. Don't, hey, we finally made it happen, though. You we know what I'm saying? We finally made it happen, bro. I'm going to be honest with you, bro. And this may sound fucked up. I wanted to do the episode last year, but I was one of them. Uh, I was one of them niggas that was like taking, I don't know if you can necessarily say this. I was taking the COVID shit a little too serious. And <laughs> he I wasn't was. leaving the house. He and was. You be on the scene, nigga. <laughs> heavy. And I told that nigga Eric, I was like, I don't know, bro. If like, the vaccine wasn't around yet. <laughs> I was one of the first niggas when the vaccine came out. I got vaccinated. I don't know if I took it too serious, but niggas was dying out here. He said, hey, bro, now that nigga be on the scene too damn much. Right, you on the scene, bro. Hey, <laughs> hey. Heavy. It's like he treated me like I was off real. That nigga trying to bring niggas trying to infiltrate the system. Hey. No, I, was, I think I hit you up. I was like, let's, let's do it then i seen you out you that like a boxing match that nigga say you know what oh, yeah. <laughs> that was in grandpa it was in oh grandpa. get the fuck out of here <laughs> <laughs> I, I respect your decision i seen the nigga in a boxing match i like i don't know them, bro. Niggas, them niggas ain't caring for life <laughs> <laughs> well, fuck it man we got you out here man it's up we here appreciate you coming through bro i appreciate, I appreciate you not saying having me for real it's like it's up yeah so eric we finally we finally we, we, we made finally, that we made it Shout out to Ed. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. You said live from the 904. Shout yeah, out to y'all. Appreciate it. Talk to him. Tell them where they can find you at. Nah, so you can find us on uh, IG uh, at live from the 904. It's not no T-H-E. It's D-A. <laughs> nah, I'm saying 904. Um, also on Facebook as well. And we were on building our YouTube channel. So same thing on that as well. So Y'all got a pretty good following, right? Yeah. I think... Uh, 15k on Facebook. Yeah, something oh, like that's, that. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah something like that. We making sure. a little noise, trying to do it. For sure. Yeah, that, let's let's clap that up as well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna, like, gonna lie. Every time I hear that, shit, I be thinking about round of applause. So <laughs> I be thinking some nonsense. Some stripper gonna come and shake some ass. Oh, man. we got that in the works, man. Yeah, we got yeah. that in the works. Yeah, we looking at the uh, nah. stripper poles right now. <laughs> hey, yo, we're, gonna, we're gonna get that through. We're gonna get that. Um, you was talking about Jeezy round of applause. No, nah, nigga. that walker, walker that flocker. walking Roscoe. What is you know he ain't never I'm been saying. outside. Man. <laughs> right, man. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were talking about that, don't Jeezy got like an intro on his shit with like niggas clapping. Oh, standing over. I know what you're talking over. about. Yeah, yeah I thought you were talking about that. We don't mention Jeezy on here because Gucci killed that nigga. Yeah. Oh no! Nah, Put him bro, in the man, dirt, man. I'm gonna tell you. So y'all think Gucci killed Jeezy? Yes, nigga. What? I'm gonna tell you. All right, Eighteen so, two. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Uh, and songs too? Are, are we talking about are we talking about the battle or are we talking about the verses? I'm talking about the verses. I mean, I'm talking about both. All of it. The okay. verses, the battle, Gucci all won. That. How? What? By music, nigga. Put them in the song? dirt. Hold on, what you had Jeezy winning by? Bro, I had Jeezy. Bro, Gucci probably met that 18 to 2 might be nah, I said for Jeezy. Well, okay. Nah, bro. Nah, you <laughs> talking about from the verses? Yeah. Nah, man. Gucci, a, Gucci won that hand down. Right, so you so you a Gucci truther, right? I mean, you a Jeezy truther. You fought with Jeezy. Yeah, I told you Eric, from you from you from Duval. I respect I it. You I, know told Eric Jeezy, that, uh, I told Eric that more when that shit happened. Yeah, Jacksonville ride for Jeezy. Like, yeah, but nah, it's a lot of people in the Jeezy city that, that like fuck that Gucci. fuck with Gucci hard yeah, yeah. too. Not, like, I feel like younger motherfuckers fuck with Gucci more. Bro, I ain't like, gonna lie, like twenties, like early twenties. Yeah, like that mid twenty range. But it's like people around my age that that was campaigning hard for Gucci. Like I'm gonna say this, man. I done been come, in Gucci gauntlet. Nah, yeah, saying yeah, yeah, debates yeah. online about right. this shit for for years. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the verses. I think Gucci won off of his his um, organization of the songs. You know what I'm saying? Um, I think that he won off the energy he brought consistently, his stage presence. I think he won off of um, demeanor, his 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 just ad libs and shit like that in between rounds. Everything. I think he won that completely off of uh, persona. <coughs> I can give you that. I really did feel like. Jesus had nah, I'm saying them anthems for real. When when Jesus songs are played, it it real did make you nah, I'm saying feel the way, and it, it take you back to nah, I'm saying when that shit was going. Really, that's only one or two albums. One like, or two. Hit me out. Hit me out. Really hit me out. Really ain't got no album that can Gucci touch Jesus. Gucci, no, Gucci ain't got no. Gucci albums. ain't got no albums that that give really you that. Really ain't got a mixtape either. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Check this out. All right, so I'm gonna tell you. So this is my thing. Name one Gucci mixtape that's better than Trap or Die. Oh, EA Sports Center. Really? Yes, bro. He I give him center. that. I give him that. Sports Center touches, tra bro. But Trapper look, die Trapper is the die reason is DJ Drama Trapper gets die money off mixtape. Yeah, yeah. You right? Easy. You, you, easy. Oh, you ain't lying. It set the foundation for sure. That's it. It like, set the foundation. That shit changed like hip hop culture. Look like. Uh, mm. 
it yeah you right it's more of a cultural thing niggas was legit getting expelled and shit over like snowman t-shirts. i remember bro, i got put out i had a black snowman shirt i remember getting put out of class oh, no, we, asked, <laughs> we asked every J- J- jacksonville nigga, what, what high school you went to i went to ed white but yeah what side of town this is you in on? middle school south side west side but oh, okay you on the west side i went this side this <laughs> but nah, when I was at, Je- at Jefferson Davis Middle School, that's when I had it. It was a big ass, goddamn, probably a three X. Big yeah. ass T, like it was. I got to be from Norwood, no Gateway Flea Market. I feel it. Yeah. I feel it. Nah, I, I feel it. So yeah, I had that real deal iteration of them damn shirts. So. Yeah. Yeah, they were sending niggas to Grand Park over snowman t-shirts. <laughs> I think. Oh my like, god, damn! It's a damn t-shirt. Snow <laughs> snowman t-shirts and white tees. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you had on a white tee. They were like, oh, oh yeah, you yeah. gotta go. You said no trouble. Especially yeah. I, went, I went to Kirby for middle school. They were like, oh, you got on a white tee. Oh, you a Pearl World. <laughs> 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 Take your ass to Grand Park. Shout out to my nigga Real. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, when I found out about Pearl World, I was like, oh shit, hold up, what? You said where? <laughs> Where exactly? Well, our bus got surrounded by Pearl World niggas. I thought I was gonna get. I thought it was like that scene y'all ever seen. Um, straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton. Right, it look, was like straight yeah. out yep. of Compton. <laughs> niggas just ran on our bus. Niggas said we were riding down Pearl. Nigga, dumbass nigga, open up to put the window down and fuck Pearl World. Ah oh, boy. Our, all our, you heard was break script straight up. <laughs> our bus job, all, all our bus job had to do was just keep going. We out of there. <laughs> so he hit, he hit the curb. We down in like I don't know where we would have been at, but like hit the curb. We would have been. We hit the turn. We would have been somewhere else. But this dumbass nigga stopping something. Like, don't be yelling out my bus. And we telling this nigga like go 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 go. <laughs> he still he like hey y'all be quiet. They saying no. They banging on the door. Them niggas just opened the door. I didn't even know you could do that. I thought the bus driver had oh, it. Yeah, he nah, still ain't nah. got there hit the gas, dog. He's stupid nigga. He just sitting there just like, he just in a, in a <laughs> daze. I'm like, bro, drive, motherfucker. For real. He done, they done opened the shit. He done let their ass on the bus. Oh, I was man. like, all right, bro. We could have got killed. Straight up. Yeah. I, I seen a gang of niggas. bus massacred. Beat a nigga ass for yelling fuck Pearl World. I was like 13. Damn, why they did you like that? But but this but this is my thing about when I feel like Jesus like low key shitting on that man. It might sound crazy, this is what I think. If if I really did got pressure with somebody, I felt like they tried to have me killed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they are able to stay in the same city as me, check they mail comfortably. No problem, and show up to the verses and sit comfortable like that, bro. Nigga played in my face hard, bro. But like, see, I feel like I feel like here's why Gucci won. Yeah, that shit happened, right? Mm-hmm. But Gucci killed the nigga, and it was it turned out to be one of Jeezy homeboys. So in that regard, I feel like hey, Jesus said that ain't my nigga. I think I think that was just like a crash dummy. Man, shit, Gucci was calling that nigga by name. Like you remember this nigga? <laughs> you 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 was wearing R.I.P. T shirts. Don't forget. Yeah, he yeah. had him in the song too. And he matter of fact, the, uh, uh, I forgot what song he was talking. Man, about. Gucci won. I don't see Gucci it. won, bro. Gucci put that nigga in the dirt. Hi. Came on the verses, reminded Jeezy in in front of him, but the rehashed thing, them feelings. But the thing is, though, he they had already had that conversation. But he see, said he was gonna do the verses until and he he said only way I do it, I gotta do, I, I gotta perform this on Jeezy. All right, bet. So remember when Gucci but, first but song, out, he came out. out this, he said, "Damn, so soon." Yeah, yeah, yeah. But nigga already lost the verses. You coming out with a diss? It's like you done made your attention is on Jesus for real. You can't. Gucci, come. Gucci I feel like that's that, at the tone. Gucci lost that round. I feel like that's at the tone though. When Gucci played that song and Jeezy came back and played "Bitch, Get Your Mind Right," yeah, that's yes, that. That's yeah, that yeah, second yeah, loss yeah, right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, he, he did at the end. He did get your mind right at it. I'm the realest nigga in. Yeah, y'all. That's that's what he ended that shit. Gucci knew he lost that round the way he looked. They're like, yeah, this nigga lost that shit. This my thing man gucci won because again reminded him of all the shit played the played the dish records in the building but it was already talked about that was discussed it don't matter it don't matter this performance you get what i'm saying this I... all this all like you don't see them behind doors conversations and honestly speaking only a handful of people know that conversation happened you get what I'm saying? In but the grand scheme, that's what of Gucci things. said. I'm saying he said we had to. He said, "Look, I told you I wasn't doing this unless I could perform the truth." Right, right. So that means, nah, but saying, that's, like he just did it. Nah, I'm saying, but that's un- a difference. Unknowingly. That's a difference in the sense if I come in demanding, like, "All right, look, I'm I'm doing this record, no matter what y'all tell me." Here I am to perform it, opposed to a 
uh, what you say if I perform this record tonight? That's cool. But who had the okay? It don't matter. Who it had don't the matter. Okay then? It's who, about it's who about gave, it's about how it, it's about <laughs> how it it was translated. You know what I'm saying? And the way it was received mm -hmm. on the internet, like visually, is that Gucci won? I don't know. I don't think song wise he did. No, I, I, I think so. I think song wise mm -hmm. performance, energy, like all well, that shit. So name the me only five thing, good only songs thing Gucci Jesus. performed that now I'm saying real deal, like hit harder than some shit Jesus played. Shit, didn't he play photo shoot? I can't remember. He That's... did play photo shoot, and photo shoot is a untouchable record. Jesus. Untouchable. Yes. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Untouchable. Jesus has you, a. You, and you know what's true? Really. Jesus really got nonsense and some other mixtapes that real did Gucci can't touch here's at all. Thing, other than Here's the thing, though. If you look back at that. it, that nigga Jeezy only really performed one album only. That's it. And you know why he did one album? Because you know, that nigga ain't have a good album in so long. That's it. His last good album was Recession. His last good album was Recession. Are you easy? So yeah. I'm talking about, talking, about, talking about people. Are y'all hearing this? He they the, saying, I mean, I know you're going to say 103. Yes, man. The, the 103 was okay. Okay. 103 was okay. You saw him record that shit in the basement. That. Oh no! Nah, oh, niggas bro. gonna bring up. You gonna bring up that Bank Road Fresh song? I know it. Oh, that I wasn't even gonna bring up. Oh, oh okay. there. You gonna bring up the Plaza song? Oh, there it's fire. Ooh, that's on. Oh, that's on 103. It's on. All oh, that saved Lose that. My, album. Huh? No. All that. Oh. All that. All that made that up. album. Nah, bro. bro. Gold mine was straight. I'm fucking too, up. Man. I'm thinking of all that. I mean, uh, all oh, that. I'm thinking made about that album. Three. All there made that three. album, bro. Oh, that was a great song, but, but Goldmine was good. That's and, what, uh, let them know was good too. It was they still okay, play that bro. shit in the club. Okay. Okay. Jesus has more hits okay. in the club than the goddamn Gucci <laughs> and on radio. But but again, we not talking that I ain't to me. Argue it, Cause you be in the club more than both. That to me though. <laughs> So yeah, I, yeah. I ain't <laughs> that, argue that, shit. that to me wasn't a club battle though. That was a street battle. But it, that was a street battle. But for hits, Jesus run circles around. It's some shit Jesus left on the table. He didn't play. But that's that's the lanes they chose though. Jeezy had a machine behind will him. You, will you say Gucci got the more recent recent hit though? He got the Bruno Mars song. He got the yeah, Mingo yeah, song. Gucci I get say, the bag. You know what I mean? Yeah. When was the last time Jeezy had a hit for real? Shit, he just had a couple. When? Right, you got to name him. Bro. I when? mean, shit. He, yo when? got the song. Him and yo got it. I'm <laughs> back when he did. That was fairly new. When he did the Recession Two album. That was a single on it. That bit was definitely not saying getting spent. And that was into it. So they did the, they did they versus last year, right? Yeah. That yeah. song came out last year. I mean, don't get me wrong, recession two nonsense is definitely nonsense out of G's uh, uh, G's a favorite from the people. I mean, yeah, that shit was funny because on the I follow mostly like up north people on Twitter. Yeah. So up north people, they fuck with Jeezy more. They fuck with Jeezy hard. Up north, Jeezy yeah. went up north and made hits and shit, so Gucci didn't. Gucci pretty much just stayed down south. So no, Gucci did have it. A lot Man. of people listen. A lot of people. A lot of Gucci fans seem to forget when Gucci nonsense went commercial a little bit. Let's not for, that let's not, let's not forget. Let's Gucci not forget time. he got the songs with Gucci time. Uh, Gucci the one with him and Mariah ass. Carey. <laughs> yeah. The one, the one with him and Usher. Oh, that song's oh, yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, In the yeah. spotlight. Yeah, Come on. yeah, yeah. That song that was hard. hard. I still play that, that was shit. Hard. That was I ain't gonna lie, I had the album, the that straight versus Rage Dave. I think that's yeah. Gucci's best album. Yeah, I think so too. I think Back to the Trap House is the best album. The one with um Bird Flu and all that shit. The song with Pimp C and um I think I think uh Rich the State versus Roger Davis just had a better rollout, yeah. better like how that nigga was in prison. But they promoted the they hell did. out of that, that album. Was a, it was a commercial album. That's they, they, that, but that's what he I'm had saying. features that's what I'm like that. He had like Nicki on there, he had they, they Cameron. Built that album, bro. Yeah, they Mike Epps on a skill or two. Lemonade. Lemonade with that shit. Oh, I can't lemonade. even lie. Yeah, I used, I was hating on Lemonade when that shit first came out. I was hating on that shit. Lemonade yeah. was good, fire. Good. Lemonade bro. with that shit. Nah, lemonade but, but I ain't gonna crazy. lie, that all white everything hit different though. <laughs> <laughs> I respect I respect you because you came with the arguments because usually when niggas be like, they were like Jeezy one. You like, bro, how Jeezy one? You won. Oh, oh no. right, yeah, them, see some, them be nonsense. Right. Them just be biased people. They they, they yeah. don't come with facts. I'm gonna come with the facts for you. I, I, I ain't gonna go hard for something I don't know too much about. Man, look, I'm gonna say this, dog. I get what I like. I respect what you're saying completely about Jeezy. <laughs> but he, I did that shit. <laughs> I just feel like, man, like Jeezy. I still, I like, I still get taken back when I hear a lot of Jeezy records, right? But they don't. When I when I say they don't hit the same, what I mean is this. What I mean is this. 
today when you listen to music, you hear the evolution in songwriting. Jeezy's songwriting was like pretty simplistic. Bro, his songs Gucci wasn't speaking regular English on. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, can we bring up? Can we pull up? Can hey, we I pull up? Forget. I'm a star. <laughs> I never forget that nigga Gucci called himself like a Sharpie marker one time or something. <laughs> I was rolling at that album, dog. Go listen <laughs> like, to this mixtape, no pad, no pencil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's some ass balls. I'm gonna tell you, my favorite Gucci mixtape all time is the, uh, the Gangsta Grill the Movie Part One. That's my oh, favorite. That's hard. Okay, that's yeah, hard. That's, that's hard. a classic. That's my favorite one. That's a classic. That's a classic. Like add it up, goddamn! Uh, I'm a star. I still don't know who had, he had on that song. You're like add it up, add it up, don't make him add it up. He just to make you mad, yeah. it's gonna make you mad. Uh, I think yeah. they used to just pick up fiends and put he them. He did in. like the dude like, on so icy yeah. for real, for real, bro. Like that nigga probably was like, man, look, I got this junkie. They I'm say bro, they paid the that studio. man the drugs, like, bro. So icy entertainment, nigga. I, singing. Yeah. Singing. That nigga was singing for his life. Look at that, this ain't even. Oh my yeah, god, that gotta be the same dude. I was like, bro, who is this nigga? I want to say Stan told me who that nigga was. One time. I think it was like Stan cousin or something. That's funny, that nigga Stan, bro. He was like, it was this this nigga. He from you, Coffee County, is, <laughs> bro. You know, bases be having a pass, bro. Like they was bases. A lot of bases be telling people live their past lives, like, exactly. dog. Like, yeah, it's one up. It's one on the corner right here. Every time I come to the studio, I get that nigga five dollars. Base, he clean no, up good. Bro. Not that black nigga. Please tell me it's not that black nigga, bro. Yeah, that nigga $5. Bro, bro, that nigga look like a monster, bro. Sorry. That yes. nigga walk Sorry, bull bro. legged that as might fuck. Be, that might be anti black, bro. <laughs> fuck that nigga, bro. Right, like, bro. It be dark What's as going fuck. On right now? This nigga be knocking on my fucking window. Like, bro, I had to roll down my shit. When you see this motherfucking Cadillac, don't touch it. Oh. Nigga, don't even <laughs> approach it. Hey man, I'm just trying to shine your window, man. That nigga stood outside my window <laughs> till the light turned green. I'm talking about like the light had just turned red. I pulled up. This nigga stood outside my window like this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got a I got a different first impression. The first time I seen him, that bro, he was pop blocking. Okay. Oh, oh. Every okay. time I see, you, I gotta give. Oh yeah, five. yeah, yeah. That's that. That was. You know nah. when the bass come up dancing, they yeah, trying yeah, to get yeah. down. Yeah, they they shucking and jiving. Then, uh, then they got a white man in the corner now. I'm like, damn, he done pushed bro up the corner. Oh now yeah, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't help them white folks neither because uh one of them got a job. Yeah, they like, just legit. I seen him today. I seen him. Yeah, he had a bike. Yeah, a bike I seen a, I seen a panhandler one time with Jordan slides on. I said, oh, bitch, you better no. sell them straight up, straight you up. Get, <laughs> he said, you get white people money? Oh no, no. like bro. I say, nigga, I, I, say bro. I say, yeah, you don't wasted your privilege, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, straight you know, up, straight up. Whatever money, you bro. did, you deserved it. Exactly. <laughs> nah, what them goddamn um, one be talking about? They a World War Two veteran or something? Oh, veteran? Yeah. Oh nah, you. <laughs> Trust me, you definitely ain't gonna get no service for me, goddamn, because I don't even like you anyway. You know? <laughs> and I'm in the middle. Damn, 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 damn. <laughs> hey, real quick, Rand just said in the comments that those were Zaytoven choir members that were singing on them records. I can believe it. Yep. That, well, shit, that nigga went to the, the Church of Dope. Exactly. <laughs> them probably them choir members they probably had, they don't picked up out the street to clean up the church and shit for free. You know what I'm saying? Just come on communion crazy, day. Bro. Have them come in and get some communion juice. <laughs> niggas was definitely singing like bass heads, bro. Like, yeah, they was singing they ass off. Gucci ain't Niggas was singing like, uh, bro, on New Jack City, them, them niggas up <laughs> around the track. You know what I used to hate about Gucci mixtapes? It was like a two year run where that nigga had shirt off on every mix. And bro, that's mix one of my biggest like, like debates. I say, bro, a lot of Gucci mix that I repeated songs. <coughs> yeah, they Jury, are. They jury are. was on quite a few of them. Yeah. Shit, photo shoot touch like two or three. Photo shoot tapes. definitely was on a couple. Yeah. Um, but you gotta think about it. that nigga was pumping the mixtapes out like every three weeks. He was like, like he definitely. I ain't gonna lie, he definitely was putting them bitches out like back to back to back to back. Yeah, like yeah. it, like when he was dropping like the Will Chamberlain. The Will Chamberlain. I stopped yeah. at like four. I was like, all right, bro, that's enough. Bird flu, chicken talk. He had a few. Oh, I remember all them shits, dog. Like, like I, it was a point I couldn't keep up. I couldn't. Bro, keep I up. was. I was. I think. I stopped fucking with Gucci once he did G when he went on a Twitter rant that one day and was oh, just talking yeah. about everybody. 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 Oh, yeah. At that point he was falling off. Like he was making I was just like, like riff Yeah, shit. I was yeah. just like, you know, I said I ain't even fucking with Donald White. But before that, I was on every, anything Gucci dropped, I was on it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because when the, him and Jesus were, were, were beefing at first, I chose side. I, I rolled with Jesus. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then after a while, I was like, all right, I'm going to fuck with Yeah, I, I, I chose the side. So then after a while, I stopped fucking with Gucci. Then after that, I was like, nah, I didn't. I was salty for a second. I think I was like, 
It took me a while yeah. to listen to the truth. It took me like nah. a couple years to listen to the truth. And when I heard, I said, bro, this nigga the devil. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> looking at that video here, go dig your partner, man. He can't say shit. I'm like, yeah, this yeah, we ain't never heard man. no shit like that. Yeah, yeah bro. Like, like, nowadays, we hear some shit like that. I'm like, oh, it's, it's we, regular. Bro, them Chicago yeah. niggas, them new, them new Duval niggas, like, yeah, this, man, bro, shit like the shit we got in 2020 and 2021. Yeah, that Gucci shit is goddamn. Yeah, I'm gonna say the rapper, mild. but we got one rapper in Jacksonville. That nigga done did. 30 times worse <laughs> shit, boy. On Instagram. You boy. Know what I'm about. I know exactly who you're talking you know what I'm about. about. For real. Yeah. I, I almost said what he did in the video. We're not, we ain't going to go there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm like, when Gucci Vert got a job, I, I wouldn't either confirm nor deny. <laughs> <laughs> it's new rules today, man. It's yeah, new bro. rules today. This shit, like, how, it's like on the disrespect level how battle rapping is, bro. Like, For real. Yeah. For real. I couldn't just keep that shit wrapped, dog. Like at certain shit, what? It's, it's past the music, bro. Like, man, when we was coming up, I feel like if some of the shit that's going on, like that's that's relevant today in music, was happening, ni- it, niggas would have been littered around the city, like for real, bodies yeah. littered around the city. Yeah, none Especially of that shit would have, man. But the thing is, though, like going back ten years, like it wasn't really everything. In Jacksonville, was like internal, West yeah. Side beef was West Side beef. Right, yeah. right. ID right. shit was ID. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, no, and it kind of f- flew in, like spewed into the north a little bit. Mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. the South Side, whatever the hell they had going on. Yeah. It's like nah, shit. These just know what I'm saying got this shit. It's all over the Everything city. dumped in yeah. one bowl. Now, so for real, for yeah. real. And we can fight. Our yeah. generation can fight for yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'd be confused looking at some of this shit. I just, Cause I remember when I was younger, well, we all around the same age, I'm assuming. All you is DJ. 29. 29. Okay, we, yeah, we are. We, we, we a couple years apart. We got a little old. So back in so back then, when a nigga say he like from um Mandarin or something, you like, oh, that's a green ass nigga. Yeah. You know, he, he, like he, now, yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I went to Mandarin from I'm look, so I went to Ed White freshman through junior year and I went to Mandarin my senior year. I had to get my grades. I started skipping and shit. Right, right, so, right. GP right. Dry, yeah, go to Mandarin. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? I was seeing like the kids from the north side of Mandarin. Nah, I said in Mandarin. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Then the kids that's from Mandarin right, at right, Mandarin. Right. I'm like, yeah, bro, like this ain't it for me. It took Straight me by. Up. Half the year for me to really did like get adjusted. I would wear Ed White shirts to gym. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that yeah, shit. Was yeah, bad. like we could consider Manor like the green niggas. Now definitely, at, I was I was seeing like some young niggas like arguing like on IG like <laughs> earlier this year. <laughs> Bro, you know, like, yeah, we don't play that on Manor. We smoke niggas. I'm like, what's going on? Nah, I'm, like, I'm gonna tell you what. That they must now. be talking about the spelling bee. My brother, <laughs> my brother <laughs> used to uh, coach girls basketball at Paxson. Yeah, and he was a sub teacher there. And um, Paxson has some fine shit. Bro. Boy, what? Them, them, oh my god, that's the finest lineup of women I seen on track, bro. Boy, Paxson had Paxson them. definitely did had them. That like the, the well best. Best kept secret for real. <laughs> but, bro, some of the stories that nigga told me about them jits, like, I was like, Paxson? Like, bro. I could believe it, go that location they at. Yeah. Like, Paxson. They borderline. It's like West North, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Paxson is like, you you in a nice area, more or less, but you drive five minutes up the road. Yeah, exactly. Two lights up. Yeah, it's the hood. hood. Yeah, like, yeah, you walk like 10, one, 10 minutes, you can, 10 you minutes can, up the street. Like, I used to, uh, my mom, homegirl, uh, went to school there. Like, you know, she was mentoring this chick yeah. or whatever. And um, I would pick her up and take her to school or whatever because, like, I had just graduated. So, um, and I was picking her up, like, in the hood. You been the corner. And it's like, whoa, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> night and day. You done went into a time realm or For something. For real. Like, <laughs> here you go. Uh, th- there's a school, but I mean, you gonna be safe walking home? Like, <laughs> Yes, Joe just grabbed the fire. Like, for <laughs> real. <laughs> like, yeah, he only kills on every other Wednesday. <laughs> I stopped at the gas station one time. Some little kids tried to press me like, hey, bro, I'm not the one. Exactly, I'm not one of <laughs> not them. Not the one. Yeah, that shit crazy. I was like, man, I was just looking at them comments with them kids. I was like, what's going on, bro? I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I grew world, up in the right man. generation. Yeah, man. I definitely appreciate the, the uh, generation I grew up in. For real. Because I think our generation, we really did. We good on both ends. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Got a lot of us are licensed and we actually go to the range. <laughs> right, right. Versus, you know what I'm saying? These the jits just getting nonsense and throwaways. Shoot a hunt, let off a hundred shots and only hit the motherfucker two times. And they not thinking about nothing past exactly. that. Exactly. Nothing past that. Like, hitting other strays and, you know what I'm saying? For like, real. I mean, 
not to name names or nothing, but there was a murder, you know, uh, a year or two ago now that uh, happened in broad daylight in in in, in a shopping plaza that you really yeah wouldn't expect it to you yeah. know what i'm saying not over there not at that goddamn um, not in broad area. Area. right 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 it's not enough foot traffic exactly it's not enough foot traffic so it's a new world man like i say like i say i ain't gonna i be thinking now i'm saying what y'all th- what y'all think like the problem is i, I blame it on these motherfuckers so, so many sorry ass mammoths i ain't gonna lie I think yeah. that is just lack of guidance, honestly. Like, it's definitely uh, lack of guidance. here, oh, yeah, for sure. there's not enough outlets. Like, in Jacksonville, there's yeah. not enough outlets because you got to think um, organized sports cost too much for the average family right now to, to yeah. really uh, participate consistently. We're talking year in, year out. I'm when tell we you, were growing up, your mamas ain't giving up enough coochie to the culture. That's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> They try to be hot girl summer too damn long. Like, hey, that's one season shit. at a time. Yeah. That's Made a real. point. Like, um, right all them you Eureka Garden ass kids got real, damn superstars like, in them Pop Warner like, game, man. Like, bruh. I mean, if somebody just too. went to a couple of these apartment complex, you got a straight little um, Little League team. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but there's there's not enough resources in the city that's true. Uh, for fun, not enough for, like, education. Like, and I'm, I'm not talking about learning uh scholastics yeah. outside of school i'm talking about like let's teach you activities and yeah shit like let's that. teach you how to interact let's teach yeah. you how to to socialize yeah, there so many programs do they even still do y'all yeah. remember pal pal out yeah here. they still do pal they do but it's uh it's it's like few and far between yeah. i think there are less locations now for yeah. one um even you some of the after also, school programs it may sound funny you can't really blame the teacher because all that pal shit them teachers did not get paid for that shit. Yeah. True, true indeed. They had to stay at the school like four or five extra more hours and not get paid. So, <laughs> so I kind of respect You had to it. really care about them kids you was fucking one of their mama. Now another. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you keep talking about fucking your mama. That nigga must be, who, who, where you coach at? <laughs> I <ain't> not... <laughs> what, what field you at, man? I ain't got no whistle. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I also think this, um, the resources didn't keep up with the times you know True. when you think about the the programs that we do have in place a lot of them are still things that we were doing when we was coming up so just the after school you stay after school you talking about coloring when you're up to like elementary school or whatever yeah. uh middle school it might just be team a few up. games and te- team yeah, up, yeah team yeah. up so you playing games you're doing your homework or whatever but look at how many resources the internet provides yeah. these kids today are learning how to code how to do graphic design but like, we had that too we just ain't know we had my space we didn't know yeah. like we didn't know what we what we had we definitely didn't. we didn't know the value of what we had we just wanted the raw goddamn background that was it it was yeah. selfish but today they're realizing how to monetize everything that yeah. they do everything from being a a personality to um <clears throat> that's like computer engineering type shit ain't it, mm-hmm. it you got design um uh software design you yeah. got graphic design um a lot of people now are doing the um whole diy fashion shit, yeah. and i'm talking about on a very low level not even screen printing you get what i'm saying yeah and they're making that shit look good these kids are doing so much that i think that schools need to implement different uh program like something that can teach them modern day um trades or or yeah. modern day skills that that do offer benefit and joy or a, a, a bit of fun more or less yeah and i think one more thing what we had different you know what i'm saying we was coming up versus the kids today we had fear in the household oh yeah for sure like a mother fear real deal you know what i'm saying shaped us well for real like a motherfucker. My, I a simple, about I'm gonna call. Hey, I'm, I'm finna call your father. I'm finna call your mother, bro. That fucked up Yo, your whole day. I done talked about it a few times. My cousin was best friends with Roy Jones growing up, and <laughs> um, man, they all they had to say was, "I'm gonna call your cousin Mike." Boy, I run in the house, sit down, arms folded. You know what I'm saying? Hands in my lap. Like, all right, look, I ain't gonna say another word. I don't know about y'all. I was more scared of my grandma than anything. Oh yeah, a lot of yeah. Yeah, I was more my scared grand- my grandma than my pops. My grandmother, she loved me to death. So. <laughs> <laughs> my grandma loved me too, but, but she was my grandma never whooped me before, but she whooped all my other cousins. So I seen how she was whooping them. <laughs> yeah, like, nah, I don't need that. Yeah, nah, because she'll, she'll get your feet. 
Oh yeah, you she hit your she, she, you oh, know, Once you not saying feel pain in your feet, you gonna fall. She was like, what? Oh, when my parent with me, they 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 hit your back and shit. She hit your feet. She be at your feet with the belt. Oh like, no, nah, I don't want that. I had one that like latched around my right ankle, hit my left foot. I jumped off both feet, cannonball to the floor. Like, <laughs> bro, I was in so much pain when that shit hit. I was like, good lord, yeah, you they got a to concussion. Take a shot, like for real. <laughs> You lost all mobility. <laughs> I was a wild jit, so I had all kinds. Of, my whole family has a, a record of beating my ass. So <laughs> 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 you could call one of my cousins, like, yeah, I will, Joe. <laughs> yeah, it's one of my cousins. She got beat by everybody. I was like, damn, I didn't even know. I didn't know the aunties and uncles could beat you. My mom, like, done, my real. mom, done beat her. I was like, damn, your auntie can't beat you if you exactly. fuck up. You got some relative put they play down. Let, let me get a lick in. Yep, yep. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I only got beat by my mom and daddy, only, and nah. I kept it that way. I, I I I was terrible, man. And my mom was a single mother raising three boys, so um, like some of my shit was unforgivable. I sprayed my mama with a water hose before she had to go to work, oh, yeah. top to bottom. You know what I'm saying? Like a whole, she was drenched. Oh wow, she was drenched, bro. Like could not. Still went to work. I be telling this nigga, he was a terrible son, bro. Yeah. If you hear all his stories, I was. I, 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 I was bad, bro. But I you made, was a damn rebel. I, I, I made up. God, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm making up for it. But yeah, bro, you are your mama world, bro. Um, but uh, yeah, like I say, they called everybody. Like, yo, we, we beating your ass tonight. <laughs> Pull they up. rock paper scissors. Who gonna get the get get on first? Pull up. <laughs> We beating Joe ass tonight. As <laughs> like, bro, I think Family my, meeting. I think a trend my older hashtag. brother whooped me that night. Like, you said your brother. I think so, bro. I was like, nigga. hey, man, which one of you whooped me? He not even allowed to whoop me. That nigga just got some licks. He was like, exactly. fuck, I'm going to get some in too. That nigga was like, well built. Now, mama, your arm hurt and I got you. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy, man. But, uh. DJ, we was talking about you be out on the scene, man. I seen you was at Trick Daddy, they a birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> talking about the weekend? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was real deal. I don't know how the fuck that came about. Or oh, like just linking with Trick? Oh yeah, just in general. Cause I was so, looking at I was looking at your shit. I was like, bro, this nigga at Trick Daddy birthday party, bro. <laughs> bro, so all right, so the shit, all this shit happened from Clubhouse. Oh, Clubhouse out, you know what I'm saying? So this one I this one I say Clubhouse was at its best. December. You know what I'm saying? It so was, it was. Clubhouse yeah. at its best in it December. Was. That shit In the off, first man. week of January. After that shit, the shit went down to shit. Yeah. So this is at the time in December when people could be in like be in a room and motherfucker had a the room open for days and weeks in mm-hmm. at a time. Cause sometimes mm-hmm. people been like, went to sleep on the app, you know what I'm saying? Wake up by by the time everybody wake up, motherfuckers in the room. It's oh, like a, it's like an ongoing thing. Right, so right. I remember I had done woke up <coughs> on the app, we chilling, it's like the same regular people. And I was like, I seen it was like Trick Daddy joined the room. I thought it was a fake page, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. I ain't think nothing. So I was like, hey, Trick Daddy in the room. I said, yeah, I seen the name. So I bought him up. So he was like, when he spoke, he was like, what they do? And he said it. I caught him out like, damn, that Trick for real. <laughs> so he was just you know what I'm saying, showing love, and a lot of people um, that be in our rooms from Duval all came in. We just having fun, enjoying it, vibing, vibing, and. A song that I had uh, reco- uh, recorded at the studio, I had asked him, I said, hey, man, I want you, I want you uh, hear this, I want y'all to opinion. He liked the song. So he, he sent me his number. He was like, hey, I'm going to have your verse written down in, in a week. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, bet. And all the way up until then, he was still getting in the rooms with us. We chopping every good time. He called me. It was six, it's like 6.30 in the morning. <laughs> He was like, hey, I want you to hear this now. I said, what I got so far. He raps me the verse, what he did. <laughs> bro, my day, I'm I'm lit for the rest of the yeah, day. Yeah, I'm, yeah, you good. I'm good. So, you know, I said, after that, so this round, this is like January. So, he, I remember he had a show in Rockledge. That shit, like, right outside of Orlando. Rockledge and Vieira. How about sound? Yeah, it's real. It. Yeah, it's like, yeah, it's real. There's some little shit. Like, nah, I said, two stoplights, you in a whole other city. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So he told us, you know what I'm saying, pull up, you know, when you're on the way, I seen that address, bet. So he hit him like, hey, we on the way. See me that address, we pull up on him at the hotel. Bam, we vibing, chilling, getting to the place we performing. <laughs> the place he was at looked like a goddamn center where motherfucker have a repass at. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I know what them shit look like. I know exactly yeah. what yeah. So you know what I'm saying? 
we came out there, had a good time. So a couple weeks after that was around Super Bowl. That was in Tampa. Meeting up with him now, vibe, had a good time. Same mode. And after that, I was on. I had to go to Fort Myers for work. I was on orders and I was insisting with the COVID shit. And Fort Myers in Miami ain't nothing but an hour away. Yeah, so up. I'm in Miami. It's how every goddamn day, every day <laughs> after I get off when I'm off on the weekend, <laughs> cooling. So, uh, All Star weekend in Atlanta. That was like the weekend of my birthday. Went there, bomb ass time. That's when I um, vibe with him, met Trina, Ross, Mooski, Turk. She was just a lit ass. It was like, yeah, so I was yeah. like, bro, that's one of my best birthdays for real. Straight up. So that's March. And then we zoom up the hill. We done linked up many more time, cooling, different shows. So he celebrated his birthday. It was at Liv. He told me about it. And I was, I'm like, bet. So he telling me how Liv is. I'm hearing all the stories, you know what I'm saying? Different rappers talk about it. He told me about it. I'm like, all right, bet. I'm, 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 I'm ready for it. So I get down there Saturday, Saturday night. Chill. Sunday came. I don't know. This did, it felt like a mother was preparing for the Super Bowl. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that was an all day thing. We hit the mall, chilling, ate, chill some more. All this shit feel like we doing film study right now. Yeah. Before we hit the club. So now we at his house. Everybody, a whole gang, bro. Like, where you stay, like a culture set, bro. The whole culture set just filled with fucking cars, different cars, a sprinter, party bus, all That's that crazy. shit. So we going, bro. We about 50, good 50 deep, bro. No bullshit. I ain't in line, no exaggeration. Right. So, now nice we get there, and I walk in, bro. Like, bro, I was blown away. Like, it looked like fucking Club Truth from Power. Yeah. All that <laughs> shit. Like, I ain't in line. Like, you seeing all the confetti and shit dropping, how the lightning and shit is. Yeah, yeah. The whole flow just got damn packed. And we go to the section, bro. We vibing, chilling, having a good time. All of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? We see uh Osiris, he was right there. Javante Davis passed through. And Jesus came, you know what I'm saying? His section was right next to us. So everything was cool, man. I ain't going to lie, bro. That's probably one of the, you know what I'm saying, most memorable weekends I done had, bro. So I can believe that. We believe that. that. I ain't, we ain't get in at the 5 in the morning. That's what's God, up. Damn. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, that nigga, the, that nigga the mayor, bro. So I'm like, bro, I hope they, they turn up for that nigga. Bro, they did. He <laughs> anything he want. Bro, I ain't man. It was so many bottles coming out. Like, bro, it was like you know how you had the bottle girls be coming, bro. Yeah. It was like a train of their ass coming. You know what I'm saying with the signs with the bottles, yeah. and they came about three, four times, bro. Loaded every time. <laughs> That's what's up, bro. Yeah, for real. Yeah, man. So shout, but yeah, it was like G's and trip birthday. Yeah, big shout out to them. Yeah, I was looking at the store. I'm like, God damn, where this nigga at? I seen, <laughs> seen Trick there. I'm like, oh, this shit little fire. I was like, damn, I was, I was there, but. Live on Sundays, bro. That nigga that, Trick that, a wild man. He so wild, I, bro. I, I, and it was crazy, bro. Like, the shit y'all see, like, on camera. That's how the motherfucker is just regular, dog. Like, that'd be the funny part. Bro, that interview with Noriega. I'm saying, see, you keep it, it depends. I tell him that shit <laughs> all the time. I say, bro, like, that shit need to be a gift for me. That or something, shit dog. is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> Like, I couldn't believe he responded like that. Bro, the nigga don't, was like, no do your real. legs be up? That nigga, it depends. <laughs> that, nigga, that nigga was quick. He was like, I know you're going to ask it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's, that's two niggas that, that's two niggas that's uh, Trick Daddy and Boosie. Those two niggas that they canceled, the they canceled on Twitter, but I love both of them niggas. Bro, straight Even up. They Trick Daddy <laughs> nah, and Boosie hey. do, I'm, I'm like, all right, I'll fold I'm going to tell you, I told my pa, I said, bro. <laughs> like I say, trick this and shit, bro. A lot of motherfuckers couldn't do. Yeah, for real. That motherfucker had his bug repeller for the beehive, dog. <laughs> that day, bro, when the beehive and everybody was on his trail, bro, I was like, man, I don't even look at y'all the same anymore. Y'all ain't powerful like that. Cause he went on the radio station, was like, hey, anybody in the beehive, nah, say got something to say. Hey, he go to number call, now. Nah, yeah. nobody from the beehive call. When that came, I yeah, said, y'all, it was in school. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they was in class. They couldn't call. <laughs> So yeah, right funny. then I said, yeah, y'all ain't on it for real. But you know what I'm saying? But the thing is, though, what I respect, he real deal. Stand on what he say for real. Yeah. yeah you know that's one saying? thing you can say. Yeah, like he ain't gonna go back. Yeah, my bad. You know what I'm saying? Like he real deal. Like, he ain't mean no fucking harm. You know what right, I mean? Like right. I said, it was just my opinion. Right. So that don't mean that's the thing. People just gotta get past that shit. Yeah, <laughs> I remember he did that uh interview with Eric and he did the shit like at a top golf. 
All right. Yeah. Oh, all right, all right, bro. That's fire that he still did that interview with you. Cause most niggas would be like, man, I'm going to talk go fuck yeah. that nigga interview. Right. right. He really did like that. He yeah. showed love for real. He bro. still like, pulled up. He pulled up his phone. Still did that shit. Yeah. Yeah. He told when we was on Clubhouse the other night, uh, somebody that does, you know, I said got a po- uh, platform do podcast. He wanna do one. He told him, hey shit, he said, if you okay, he said, is it visual? Is it, you know what I'm saying, visual, audio? He's like, audio. He said, all right, this is what we'll do. He said, we'll get on Clubhouse. I, I invite you to a private room and we'll do it like that. Oh, that's a I said, bro, that's love, though. Yeah, oh, yeah shit, we real. need to get him on REOP. For real, straight up. Yeah. Ain't no problem, but man, make that. Hey, he tell cool. That nigga pull up. I got you. I tell that nigga pull up. I got you. Tell him pull, pull, <laughs> pull up, bro. We, we'll, we'll give him a quality interview. We ain't gonna ask, <laughs> we ain't gonna ask him about eating booty. Man, fuck no. <laughs> we're not gonna ask him about no eating booty. We're gonna ask him, we're gonna go, we're gonna go back out, through, out. Yeah, yeah, through the music. Yeah. So you say you rap too? Yeah, I do music here now. Okay, okay. How long you been rapping? Professionally, now. <laughs> shit. Oh, like, about like, to ask this man to freestyle. No, man. I ain't, okay. I ain't gonna, I gonna lie, lie to you. I ain't gonna <laughs> lie to you. I really did feel I can't be fucked with. In freestyle, freestyle, and they had to fuck. Oh you. shit! Oh. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I, really shit. I ain't gonna lie. I really did feel like that. Like <laughs> cue them up, man. <laughs> like they said, like I be having rappers come. Bro, rappers do not want to freestyle. I think they really did just be scared. They can't do That's that. That's what's shit. up. I'd be ready to get their ass smoked for real. Like, yeah. Some of the best rappers in the city. Yeah. Hey, you gonna, you gonna freestyle? No, I don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, niggas don't freestyle, they don't. man. So. Boy, these days they think of freestyle some shit. It's they done written, wrote written. down. Yeah, I'm like, bro, yeah. ain't no fucking freestyle. That's, man. You just You're entertain. reciting right now. I just entertain when they do that shit. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, bro, you killed it. <laughs> exactly. Like, who am I? <laughs> who am I to tell you anything let's see, different? Let's see what we got, bro. Let's I'm just see. gonna pick a random beat. Let's see what I, we got. Let's see what we got then. <laughs> Take a little bit of time to load up. Let me see. Oh, I don't think you got it set for the uh, oh, audio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. So, uh, you got any projects out? Nah, I, that was I just dibbling and dabbling. I, like, I, that, be, I, know, I be, bro, real deal just and so much nonsense shit. You know what I'm saying? Trying to Make sure I excel in everything. I really don't be having time to just. It might have been the volume, my bad. Like, okay. like sit up and just post up and just, you know what I'm saying, have my time. But if somebody be like, I need a feature or something, I need a verse or help, or, you know, I just help me write something, I'll come through. Right. But it's not that one. It's different. You might have got lucky, man. I might have got lucky. Think yeah. I got saved? Yeah, you might have got saved, bro. Uh oh. Yeah, it ain't playing through here. I mean, shit, I can hear it. Man, I be having to um, get us technologically correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ain't playing, bro, like it. Oh, no. Nah, you about to, yeah. All right. Let me see. All right. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even listen to young boy. I heard you. I've been hearing different things about this project. He just dropped. I don't really be listening to it, but that nigga sell that nigga sell a lot of records. I respect it. He do. It. He, he definitely got a cult following. Take pull it out that back one and then put put it back in. Put it take it like yeah, just take it. Yeah, just, and just put it back in. See if that works. Yeah, you might got lucky, bro. Oh, that man. shit ain't playing for real. Yeah, I don't know what that one did. I ain't do nothing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't do nothing. We that shit work normal like every week. All right, yeah. Ain't even coming out to sound like that. Yeah, not at all. Laptop hating. Yeah, laptop hating this week, man. Oh, but man. uh it ain't, mute, it ain't muted on the board. Nah. Nah, I didn't. Nah, it ain't muted, bro. Yeah. But we can't take too much time doing this shit. But yeah. yeah. You said nah, but I don't mind giving that free smoke now nah, on up. a naked beat though. Nah, I can't hear it all. You probably took your headphones out. I gotta just put it in some more. Testing, testing. Yep. Mm-hmm. We can hear you, so. Yeah. Yeah, we hear yeah. you. We straight. Yeah, but uh, yeah, we can't take too much time doing that shit. But yeah, <laughs> I didn't even know you rapped. I know you podcast and shit, man. Let's talk about your podcast a little bit. Make you feel more at home. What kind of what kind of shit y'all be talking about on there? Man, we talk about everything. We talk about shit we didn't 
supposed to talk about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like what? Because I'm in the military. So it's a lot of oh, shit okay. that we can't talk about, but I just don't be giving a fuck. Right? <laughs> like, I mean, what you going to do? Put back. <laughs> I mean, but nah, so it's like, I don't know. I just be trying to just, I just feel like everything, you know, we talk about everything because everything is relatable. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people, the, what we talk about could be a message for somebody for real. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like, or like trending trending topics and all that at the time. Yeah. You know, my weed sometimes be be the voice, you know what I'm saying? People want to hear or speak on something that somebody don't want to speak out out loud. Right. Or we may have an opinion that somebody may feel that they probably, you know what I'm saying, can't have this conversation with their peers or family members, you know what I'm saying, people. So, mm. yeah, we talk about everything for real. Yeah, we don't hold back. We don't did a whole lot of shit, man. We done had a whole, man, we done had an episode with a, a LGBTQ episode. Like, we did a, <laughs> uh, what you call that shit? Um, a battle of the sexes with LGBTQ. Like we had, a, we had a L, a G, a B, a T, and a Q. That's funny. What the oh, fuck now. is a Q? Ain't it, ain't a queer. A, ain't a it queer. the same thing? I, this, if if yeah. you got the L, then you got the Q. <laughs> nah, you I got think, the B, then I you think, got the Q. I think nah, the L is women. I think yeah, the, Q, the Q is get, men. Yeah. Oh, so queer is a they man. They like, they like bussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we can't get bussy on here. <laughs> no man, man, I don't like no but no bussy man. No. <coughs> what's the like, what's the wildest guest y'all ever had on that sh- on there before? Uh, our wildest. Now we say wild. What you mean? Like most memorable, craziest. I don't know, man. It's it's it, it, it's rare because, like I said, we don't have we don't had a porn star. We don't had strippers, dancers. Um. You know what I'm saying? We don't have a lot of rappers too. What's one of the most memorable ones for yourself? Uh probably trick. That was nonsense one because it that one like kind of like hit because I had the nonsense like kind of like pause myself a little bit. I did the shit in Miami, you know what I'm saying? At right. his producer studio. Then it was like we was getting ready to go the fuck out too, like right after that shit. So it was like, you know, that was like real deal, probably like my first, like, you know what I'm saying, celebrity that I actually, you know what I'm saying, like grew up on for real. Right. That. So I say that was one of them. Um, I think T Ron was one shot to T Ron. That was our longest one, bro. We did that, that shit lasted for like three fucking hours. Shout out to T Ron. We bought in. 2020 with dog so <laughs> um i forget the name of his record he had uh outside bitch. outside, pussy. Yeah, outside pussy. Yeah. yeah oh nah that was his hardest record i'm talking about if I mean, you love f you love that's that was, what i was thinking about but, i told um, i had to give biggest hit. yeah I had that's to, the biggest man, hit. he had people from switzerland now nah, saying yeah uh, singing uh, remixing shit. this shit yeah. like i told him that shit hit different because um when i went to korea that was my first duty station and they played that shit over there. So <laughs> that shit hit different. Oh, like, man, bro, I know like, you dude, went crazy what? in the club. Yeah, he and that <laughs> shit. And, and Boosie, like, man, because Boosie was still in jail at the time. So, yeah. Mm. Yeah, that shit definitely hit different. So I, I got to tap in. What did he talk about? His cash money shit? Yeah, he definitely did. You know what I'm saying? Go into That's how the cash money did, you know what I'm saying? And then, like, um, how all that went in. He really did. Get, he went in depth by everything. Yeah. So, yeah. Um. Yeah, outside pussy is, is that's a classic, dog. And cocaine cowgirl. Oh man, oh, yeah, man, yeah. man, man, man. I yeah. say how low can she? What? <laughs> Damn, my real deal timely. Like when you like when you think of Jacksonville, like that's some shit you think about for real. Man, like that is that that's the club. Yeah, it definitely is. You got that. That's the club. Um, Young Cash is a good one too. Okay, um, yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Like another time this hit like freak. Yeah, man, yeah. X, like X, yeah, that was definitely not saying the pill popping error. Bro. <laughs> I yeah, had X classmates at like, lunchtime rolling, dog. Mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm. yeah, I had seen T Ron. I think T Ron and Cat, Young Cash did a versus. I, I was there for it. That for was, real? Yeah, it was. I ain't gonna lie, I enjoyed myself. Yeah, I could, I it, could imagine. It was an XO. Damn, I'm mad I missed that. Yeah, it was. Nigga, I told you about that shit. <laughs> I don't remember that. I swear I told you. I, I don't remember like, that. It was uh, oh, it was last year sometime. Like this nigga like, be like it to t- say he told me about something. I swear <laughs> I told you. Bro. Like I to- told you about them damn uh, 
What you call it? Bags, stones, I ain't seen it. Man, I ain't seen them damn coma pack bags. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 t- we were talking about coma pack on here. I'm I'm shocked you ain't smoking t- t- this episode. Yeah, man, I ain't smoking <laughs> today. <laughs> but because this nigga always smoking while three months each episode. <laughs> and we were talking about coma pack, and I had got these niggas some coma pack bags so they could start marketing shit. Yeah. He gonna hit he, me up, Thomas something. He said, he said, he said, I never used them. I said, nigga. I said, he told me something, bro, it's time to get the coma pack bag. I like, nigga, I got them shits last year and y'all ain't use them. Bro, I ain't never seen them, bro. This nigga lying, bro. <laughs> this nigga is a lie. Bro, you lying. gotta pull up the receipt. If I ain't put it on the episode, we ain't, it, they, right. they don't exist, bro. Okay. You gotta show me on YouTube. I'm gonna make you look silly next episode we do. I'm gonna make you look, I'm gonna put it on there. I'm like, hey, got your ass in 4K. Was I drinking that <laughs> night? All right. <laughs> hey, man, let's just make sure we, ch- we uh, take into consideration all the variables. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, they got to. <laughs> All right, so we're on like a topic by like you would talk about in your podcast. We could talk about that shit. Uh, shit. I, 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 I Kelly. I done tapped in. I'm oh, just talking man. about Kelly. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so R. let's R. start with how the Boondocks got this shit right. Definitely did. The Boondocks were four. You know what's crazy? Uh, oh, that's another one that was right. So, all right, so you know the, the character of Pimp Name Slipback, right? Right. The dude who that character based off of, we had him on a podcast. For real? <coughs> He's from here. Natalak. <laughs> Natalak. That's funny because yeah. we, 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 we about to get him Natalak on. on. Man, yeah. I was just, bro, Natalak was just, we was texting before I walked in the door. I ain't know that uh, a dude named, Pimp, uh, I mean, a, a pimp, pimp named Slipback was based off of him. Yeah, he said so. What it was, the suit, uh, they got it as purple from the picture they got. Yeah. He was actually in a blue suit. <laughs> But now it's in the way the pitch and the light was made it look purple. Yeah. Yeah. That's funny. That's funny. Shout out to Natalie. You good people. Yeah, we're going to have to talk about that. Real yeah. pimping. Yeah. So R. Kelly, man, he got convicted. Uh, hold on. Let me bring up the little, little shit. That nigga got several convictions. Racketeering and sex trafficking. Was it 14 counts or nine counts? I know he got he he got all the counts. Man, yeah. I heard they talking about getting him 140 years, 115 years or something. Something like that. Yeah. They need to put that nigga under the jail. This nigga about to say something. I he not feel it. <laughs> this nigga about to say something. Go ahead, man. Oh. Talk your peace, bro. This nigga about to say oh. something. Talk your peace, bro. Oh, don't put your I'm like this here, man. I just feel like don't put your if he got to do all that time, bro, they got their parents need to got them double up on that time, too, bro. And then I ain't, cut this up. I ain't gonna lie, man. <laughs> Cause it's like, man, I mean, I feel like I think about being an arcade fan, it's just more so like, I don't want this shit to be, you know, you just know, nah, this can't come to terms, like, bro, this is what the fuck it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think that at this point, you gotta relinquish that thought, brother. It's too many counts, it's too many cases, it's been yeah. going on too long, but entirely too long. Hold on, That's, I kind of feel them. Like you, you can get R. Kelly all that time because that nigga's disgusting or whatever. Mm. But you gotta get it. You got if the parents that it, was exactly. giving the kids to him, you gotta get them sometime. You got. I mean, I'm like, bro, y'all an accomplice. True indeed. Yeah. Y'all True was indeed, working nah. together. True indeed. Nah. R. Kelly does not have these girls if the fucking parents don't. True indeed. Nah. But then, and, and I ain't gonna lie, I'm. I really did think you know. I feel like. But I ain't R. Kelly. Now I'm saying pissed off some damn high up some people in higher positions. And that's why the fuck, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm going to say this. There's a lot of... Uh, that nigga ran out of money. That's what it was. White folks that's uh, getting away with the same thing. Yeah, baby, you know man. Man, like, look, priests. Like... They need to dig Elvis' ass politicians. up. Politicians. <laughs> they need to dig Elvis up and put his ass on that trial. Nigga, that nigga dead, bro. Like, <laughs> that's, that's his punishment right there. That nigga died. <laughs> but he lived a long time, though. He did. did he really? I, I mean, I thought Elvis died like in his 40s or something. I think he might have been so in his 50s, say. early 50s. <laughs> so they say. <laughs> yeah, we gotta look on Elvis real quick, bro. I could have sworn Elvis died like forty something, bro. I like that nigga died pretty young, so I don't know. This one dude they pulled up recently, boy, that died. They showed motherfucker look just 42. like that. Forty two. Forty two. Yeah, that's that's what that. That nigga got a, oh, he, nigga eating a worm sandwich. That's his punishment. Hmm. How old R. Kelly? R. Kelly gotta be like fifty. Nah, R. Kelly, he he close. Nah, fifty. R. Kelly, I lived that nigga. If Snoop. 59 is R. Kelly somewhere around now. Oh, go. damn. R. Kelly 54. Yeah. Right, there you go. R. Kelly outlived that nigga. That nigga Elvis got to eat a worm sandwich because he because he was touching on. What do you, what do you, what do you married his wife? If young? They, if, 
Man, yeah, his wife was like 14. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's one of them like rock singers. I, I forgot the name. If I got his name, I know he's, he's still alive. About, yeah. Like he married his wife when she was like thirteen. He's still alive to this day. Hoarding that young pussy, man. I mean, yeah. it's a it's a it's a it's a crazy world that we live in. Future future, let us know that. But um, it's an evil oh. world rather. But uh, you know they do have that law. It's a sick it's a sick law yeah that parents can consent to their kids being married early yeah i ain't gonna lie I real deal I, like i said in one of those situations like you know what i say i just it's hard to you know what i'm saying come to terms because it's like like as a caring father you know what i'm saying caring parents how could you you know what i'm yeah. saying do that and you know what I'm saying? If, if if this is real deal his character why would you not know saying still in that case so it's like even with the Leah shit, I feel like I don't know. I really did think that was an industry marriage. I don't think he really did was like dating the Leah, like and found her ass now. Nice and fell in love with her. Hey, baby, let's get married. Like, I really think it was an industry marriage for real. I could see that it was a industry. Like I could see them two being brought together. Like, Meg, like Meg and Moneybag, motherfucker, forget they were goddamn a thing. Now that point. was an industry relationship. That's what I'm saying. I don't think that uh, the R. Kelly situation was the same thing. That I think that it might have been. Stay, got, they stay. They stay. That bitch say like, like, Aaliyah. That is crazy. Motherfucking yeah. R. Kelly. Like. I think that it was one of these things. I think that Aaliyah was introduced to him, and people By saw. Who? Now that's a, her goddamn parents. That's her uncle. Family. Yeah, her family. uncle was managing R. Kelly. Family. All right, so look, it was introduced, and I feel like the uncle felt like Aaliyah could benefit tremendously from being in his presence or True. whatever. You know what I'm saying? Try to put you on, try to be the plug. Got gotcha. you. All right. Once things got to the point, like I feel like they might have had a secret thing going on or whatever, right? Um, once things get to the point to where it's like, okay, we're dating, how do you respond to that? You know what I'm saying? I think that R. Kelly just swindled them, honestly. That's what, what what does the parents play a factor? Motherfucker, you 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 <laughs> I don't know, this man. Grown like, ass man without young damn daughter, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, that's the hypothetically, I'm in that position, right? My brother, you know what I'm saying, sees my daughter, his niece, she has talent casino, mm. and my my brother manages, you know what I'm saying, uh uh a list celebrity singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genius, musical genius. <clears throat> and he's able to pull this string and you know what I'm saying, get them to collab, work together. Cool. But what's not saying uh my daughter has found interest in this grown man sexually uh relationship wise. Yeah. Oh yeah, now y'all got the not saying come see me now cuz now you you know this grown man fucking my underage daughter straight up. So like now me and my brother not saying finna fall out like, and I'm finna get off and dog ass. If I don't get them both of their ass together, you know what I'm saying since was, they working was, together. Also the situation was apparently he he got her pregnant or some shit like that. Oh, she had a boy. I did hear about that. And the and the family kind of like they, at they, gunpoint like made that nigga get married to her. Yeah, they they felt like it would be a better um better for their marketing or whatever. Like if she was wed, then yeah, wed lot. But uh, or was it not saying the people in on the label like, hey, no, this is what the fuck need to happen? Like it could be it could be either, either or. Either or it's a fucked up situation. Yeah, yeah it's, it's we'll crazy never know like the real deal ends and not. It's just you know what I'm saying us thinking of what it what it could be the hypotheticals and shit. I just I don't know. And it's like a lot of these artists, you know what I'm saying these days coming out talking about he a monster and all that. But bruh, if you want to cancel R. Kelly, bro, cancel everybody else. He done got them wrote a hit for, wrote for, and collaborated with. That's kind of and, and that's a good eighty percent of the goddamn. Uh, that's kind of what's happening yeah, now because you seen you seen what happened with Drake the other week. Yeah, but that shit ain't last long. Nah, it didn't what last happened long with they was fake man. It was just somebody made a post now because R. Kelly got writers credit on one of the songs. Oh yeah, yeah, with the TSU. Okay, yeah, okay, you yeah, know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah. So yeah, and like apparently it was the. A sample on the front, yeah, with the rain, had like an R. Kelly song, like playing like in the background, yeah, and like it picked it up, yeah. And then they were like, Oh, well, a lot of people don't know how the music industry works. Anything you gotta get it, person, you gotta credit. give them their credit. Yeah. Yeah. Walk in a room while you write, and they can get goddamn writer's credit. I tell yeah. it, I say it all the time if 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 they influence any idea you have mm -hmm. into the song, yeah, they could tell you to change but to and or you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, when that That's shit happened, yeah, when that shit happened, they was at the like that nigga R. Kelly was like in like OVO compound, mm -hmm. 
yeah, the writing shit. I'm like, no, nigga. <laughs> the, the sample in the front got <laughs> picked just, up R. Kelly, right? And they had to do it, right? But that's the only way you can get clearance for a lot of things. So, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie. What at when at it was at one point Bill Cosby was facing a whole lot of years. Yeah, yeah. I really think this going. But I I think this is what the fuck is gonna happen to R. Kelly. I ain't gonna lie. If Bill got out, Kelly get out. I think Bill got out on some other shit though. I mean, I, I I think Bill got out because he was old as fuck. Nah, That's what no, I'm no, no, no. They fucked up on that case. No, what they it did was, up on the case. he had done admitted to the shit. Nah, I'm saying uh, years previously, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they weren't supposed to use that against him. And somebody, they couldn't retry him on that. Yeah, and when when the judge, know <laughs> when the motherfucker had them blurted out, like, oh, he said we'll do it. Yep, yep, y'all fucked up. So it's like he got out of technicalities. Yeah, but I, I their, their their case is pretty. Pretty packed again. I, I so. mean, it was looking like that against Bill too. Nah, Bill, was like it, was, Bill was looking like he was going to be. R. Sitting, Kelly bro. had a woman <laughs> under a wrestling ring in his house. Why this nigga sick. had a wrestling ring in his house? Why she stayed it under? Was a, it was a boxing ring, but still. Why she stayed under the ring? Why did they stay in the house while he on tour? But they can go to the store and walk down the sidewalk peacefully. I'm just saying that uh, if did. I can, if I can not if this man is in a whole nother state, it's a chick no. from here that was um that was caught up with R. Kelly. She wanted yeah. to be now. Nah, I ain't gonna go there. I don't know the chick. Right, hey. nah. I don't know the chick. I don't know. You know, I said I wasn't there. I don't know how she felt about him. But if you in Jacksonville, yeah, it's got caught up with R. Kelly. Like, I knocked I, off an older woman that I know. I know would have gladly been in bro, his uh. In that his what I'm rank. saying like wouldn't have even said nothing. Yeah, they they was out there picking it too. The women, bro. The old women, bro. Them, yeah. Man, them grown women be, bro. Them grown women love R. Kelly. I be, I be. If you go on Twitter, it's a whole bunch of women on that talking my shit. I wouldn't have said a damn thing. I still be had to. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's like you know what I'm saying. How can all this have happened around the time he married too? So yeah. that means the damn wife got damn in cahoots as well. But I could believe she was. I could believe it. I, I ain't see that surviving R. Kelly shit, but I'm and that sure. and that was oh, another that thing. Was that crazy. was another thing for me. I'm like this here. Check this out. If y'all in so much pain, he caused so much. You know what I'm saying? Havoc and all this and all, bro. You honestly and, and y'all finna do this series down the pretty much. You know what I'm saying against them. How the fuck you get permission to play my song at the beginning of it? Man, look. You know wow, that's a good had, point. That's what I'm like. So wow. I'm like, bro, I can't believe this shit because then at the end of it. You got Sparkle promoting her fucking new song she got at. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Now, I think that that's why a lot of them stayed because they were hoping for the dream of, you know what I'm saying? Let me I'm get trying on. to come up. Yeah, yeah, let me get on with the music and shit like that. But the problem in that is how you spend 10 years, how you spend five years and you ain't had a, a feature, you ain't had mm. a writer's credit. That man you ain't had... And I think he honestly <laughs> did, bro. He did his part for Sparkle. That Sparkle thought she ain't got damn blue. He gave you a hit. True. That True. be careful song. <laughs> he gave you one. Yeah. Um, then you talking about he'll mess with my niece. Well, how the fuck the niece get there? Cause of who? Once again, just like R. Kelly in the league. But he's still a, <laughs> he's still a monster, bro. He's still on the monster, acts, bro. okay, on the acts of everything where he's being charged, those are definitely monster nonsense. Right. I will go on record and say that. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> <laughs> Use your common sense. <laughs> I don't know how to hold time. <laughs> <laughs> that shit. Like, think cool. about that, bro. Like, if you, if you, if somebody doing something to you against your will, that would definitely turn into a domestic violence. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you know what I'm saying? If you trying to rear their fight back, song that man ain't got no yeah. domestic violence charges. I don't, I don't know what he told these women, but it's something he told told them where they were scared to leave that house. People can willfully be uh, hypnotized, man. Yeah, yeah he that's what hypnotiz yeah. hypnotization is. Like allowing yourself, allowing yourself to to give in. Yeah, so, he, yeah, he, yeah, I don't know, bro. Don't he, hold. A, he a sick nigga. If he was able to tell a woman, "Hey, I'm about to, <clears throat> I'm about to box this nigga in the ring. When I <laughs> ring this bell, you come out and suck my dick." <laughs> For him to tell a woman that he is something like he did something mentally to these women, bro. <laughs> Like it's something sick going on, bro. I can only imagine that nigga was going crazy with the bell too. Like yeah. it can't be. Like, I'm just imagining nigga with a boxing glove with a bell in his hand. But think about that though, bro. Look at all them songs that man ding, recorded. Ding, 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 ding. He recorded all them songs like in his house, bro, in that in-house studio. Yeah, bro. Which means, bro, he's busy a lot. So how? What's your and them whole? I ain't gonna call them whole. Right, hold up. But they real. They was real. They're beautiful and healthy, bro. Like right, they weren't missing now. no meals. Yeah. Hold up, now let me ask you this. 
Mm-hmm. What if they was get? What if they were writing songs but wasn't getting credit? I don't know, dog. That nigga wrote a big hit for Michael Jackson. I mean, he did. I don't take none of that. I'm yeah. just saying hypothetical. Know how to read? I'm just. That's it, what's crazy too. Like, I can't read, but I can write the I fuck. I can write. I, I can I write. I can't you read a, a goddamn thing, but I can write you a bomb ass hit. <laughs> I can write you a prolific hit, nigga. Like a a a a a piece. That's why I that, think that shit bullshit, bro. If you can't read, but you can write, bro. I don't. That nigga wrote. Me, I believe I can fly, bro. Exactly. Hold up. Can he not read it? Can he not comprehend? Because he might need to take the F cat. If he can't, if he can't, that's a good question. He, that's a good question. I don't know how niggas who can't read. Think can't about read. that though, because when you in the booth and you recording, what you what 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 motherfuckers had pen and pad, or, right? What they, well, see, I I mean, you I, I memorized my shit. Oh yeah, so, a lot of people can. Yeah, but so. he wrote a hit for Michael Jackson. Right now, yeah. that's where that's where I'm lost. It's like okay, you're songwriting for other people. Exactly. There's no way. It might be one of them things where he just can't like. Comprehend, can't put it together. Cause for example, I got you. Mike Tyson couldn't. Mike Tyson couldn't read, mm-hmm. and he got finesse on a lot of his contracts. We see Mike Tyson now. Mike Tyson, the one of the smartest motherfuckers ever that I've heard talk. Yeah, one of the most intellectual people I've ever heard talk when he talk about different stuff. Yeah, but depending on what he's talking about, but he can't read. So right. it's like, I'm gonna tell y'all what it was. R. Kelly was like, "Hey, look, I'm saying these bars, bitch. You gonna write it down." When I'm done, you gonna fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That nigga was like, that nigga was like, look, I got a hit for you. Yeah, send it over, bitch. <laughs> and that nigga sick because he thought maybe because at the tail end, all these women he was abusing was of age. They were in their twenties, but it's just like you're still abusing women. That nigga just like all the women about that were though, of age, and that much. It, I mean, at least you know from what we know of these accusations, that that much is you know. A, a good thing in that sense, you know? Yeah. Because him taking advantage of underage women like this would be heinous. Yeah. yeah. And think about that, though. If he mess with underage, why was he, why don't he got no kidnapping charges? Ain't that kidnapping? Yeah, it is. Think about you know, it. No, it's kidnapping when you take them across uh, state lines. Hell no, nah, you could be in the city, bro. It's, it's kidnapping when you, you know take how many baby kids. mamas got got their baby Trump daddies bed. in trouble for goddamn kidnapping the motherfucker around the corner. But you got to think, man. A lot of these yeah, folks think is consenting. I don't think that's right, Joe. State line, yeah. I can um right now consenting, consenting. If they gave them kids to go to with R. Kelly willfully, how's he kidnapping? Joe, I could I could be leaving out here. You could hop in my trunk and I could drive down to Dunn Avenue and you'd be like, oh, this nigga amp got me in the trunk. I'm gonna get a kidnapping charge. Okay. But that's different if I call the police and say I got in the car and I drove with him to his house and I came here on my own into it. So willfully. So my, so how is it nine? It's saying, people that got kidnapped. So how is it it's people that got kidnapped and charged by like and pushing somebody in the damn closet and closing them up. I don't believe R. Kelly was doing that. I definitely don't think. I believe uh, that nigga was doing trafficking? everything. I believe I believe he was talking these women into all of the, the, the acts that they were doing. I believe he or or singing it. Cause think about when someone <laughs> think about when the when the two girl one one girl named Jocelyn. Now when I ring this bell Cause when some of, when some of them girls are doing the little uh the video like the zooms and shit yeah like bro like they were freeing the motherfucker right yeah hey Chilling. I know y'all seen that one zoom one they, girl they didn't want to leave like they, like they were talking about like the sister came at yeah, the hotel yeah, yeah. though yeah did y'all see that one zoom where it was like one of the girls they were talking about she was missing for like months yeah. And she was, and and she, she her was, name like, was Jocelyn Savage. That and, was her name. And she was like, was nah, I've been good. I've been. Uh, but if you look in the back, you see a shadow. You see that nigga R. Kelly. Like, <laughs> all right. But you be the only thing to R. Kelly, though, bro. I really did think, like, that's motherfucker who be putting that shit together. That's probably like, that nigga that was brushing his head in the interview. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, bitch, don't, don't you make that nigga I say, bro, I just think, nah, that's my opinion. I think R. Kelly just, he done pissed off the wrong people. I don't he, know, man. I or, think he or, got away with too much. I think he got away with too much. Y'all seen the tape? He's running around like he part. What Y'all seen the tape? tape? The, the original tape. I ain't it, never it, seen the tape. I did. I ain't never seen it. I was too young to understand what was going to the, on. To but the listeners, we, when that came out, we were young. So I we snuck. Didn't. It was we a were, We were we yeah. were, we were young. I fucked around and found the tape. My family, you know what I'm saying? We had done duck. That was a VHS. That's what we had. The niggas that was peddling it. They were not young. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, I was on the internet, um, and I, I ended up seeing the shit. Um, 
I ain't never seen it on the internet. I ain't never, my uncle was selling the motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. like that shit. I, Y'all think that Kim K and Ray J shit was going shit. around? Nah, mm-hmm. that shit they had nothing on that Arcade my, my uncle was selling them bitches at the flea market. No lie, that Arcade was, was at they fan was reunions. That nigga would bread it up. He bought me. He bought me and my um, me and my brother Jaguar jerseys. <laughs> that nigga, that nigga well, he bought he bought my brother a Jimmy Smith Pedaling. Jaguar jersey. Pedaling. And he R bought Kelly me a, a Keenan McCardell R. Kelly. <laughs> Nigga, I got nigga, yeah, I, sick nigga, I had Negro. Jaguar jerseys off piss money. Oh, oh man. my god, off PP money. Man, I heard they calling shit the pee hive now. <laughs> this I is a sick the Negro. This yeah, is a sick Negro. Negro. I thought I took that off. Damn, I swear I took that off. Found it. <laughs> uh, damn, I thought I took that off. But yeah, we had Jaguar jerseys off PP money, oh, bro. Man. The first PP loan. But man, yeah, that's I mean, disgusting. and another thing, bro. Like even with that, you know, if you. If motherfucker got caught selling that shit, they would go to jail for you know. Yeah, what I'm for saying? for uh, under it. what it uh, uh child child pornography. pornography. You know what I'm saying? And nobody went to jail for shit like that. So that I was like, so if that's the case, was, was that really a minor? Yeah, you know, we don't know how the fuck old that girl was in the tape. I don't know, man. They said she was 14, bro, but she looked <coughs> older. Like, oh, you talking about the looked... chick in the tape? Yeah. It, okay, this is how R. Kelly got I ain't going to lie. When I seen that tape, I was like, man, that don't R- look like no 14-year-old. I have bro, seen. check this out. At that time, in, 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 in the early 2000s, like, bro, bro, 14-year-olds were not built like that. Bro. Bro. Now that I think about it, teenagers were not built like, like that. That, that, was, was, like that the, was my thought. That I was, was like, slim, yo. That was the slim girl era. You know what I'm saying? Women built like nonsense. Yeah. Think about how. I, I think R. Kelly, Kelly got off on the first one because, like, I think, like, people didn't want to, like, testify against him. Like, nah, was, they say like they knew, paid them people off. Like, they, 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 knew it, like they knew it was clearly him. Like, yeah. if you look yeah, at Yeah, they knew it was him. That nigga fixed the camera. Like, I ain't never seen a video, but I seen, like, stills of it. Like, I remember the damn tape. That nigga, bro. That, that's that a, tape was weird as that's fuck. That's another thing. They used to show, like, stills and screenshots on, like, VH1. I'm like, bro, this is child porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On, you on can't it. do that. I'm like, bro, so that, that, so that made, so that real deal, like, was that really a fucking child? Because that shit was on. And the internet was nice, and you could pinpoint a bitch easily back then yeah, on the yeah, on the computer. Yeah, yeah, back in that time, so it's like, bro, was that real? Child? Your motherfucker would have went to jail easily. Man, look, all I know is that it was shit. definitely R. Kelly. That nigga was in his studio. That Yo, nigga, not, bro, like, because the nigga had a fro, he had half his. That nigga head was fucked up. Like, <laughs> oh, that's another thing. They did a legal seize on that stu- on the on the tape. That's yeah, another yeah, thing. Yeah, that yeah, helped yeah. Them. yeah. Like it was clearly like that's the nigga studio because everything remember, just worked out for you him. You remember in the BT How We Living? Mm-hmm. How they showed that room mm-hmm. on there? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then you, the, from the tape stills, right? That was clearly that room. That was yeah. clearly that nigga shit. Right. He did his brother dirty. He was like, bro, that was my brother. Yeah, yeah he did say that when it was his brother. Yeah, fucked up. I mean, tell me like, hey, nigga, take this show. Bitch, I've been paying all your shit. Hey, <laughs> hey I don't know, right? man. That's crazy. But I, yeah, that, I wouldn't want to fuck up a clean crazy. record either. Like, bro, yes. like, I wouldn't even know. I was With like, a, uh, uh underage, yeah. man, come on. Nah. That's the thing. That's what I say, bro. It, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hey man, I love my brother. Hollywood but shit I, crazy. Yeah, I ain't taking no. Ch- I take Boy, a you char- gotta hate I that take nigga. A you put my, that on. I take a charge for my brother, but not that one. <laughs> not that one. Nah. <laughs> that had you scarred, bro. I take some violent shit for my brother. I take, I take, brother. I take a gun charge for my brother, like anytime. Yeah. I take a gun charge, drug charge for my brother. <laughs> that that nigga age. came to me uh, and he like, hey man, I done murdered somebody. Uh, I got, I got my my son. I gotta look out for. I'm like, damn man. All right. <laughs> what they give it? What they talking? Yeah, that brother. Hey, what they talking about again? Twelve. But shit, you talk about. Oh, no, nah, 12. I ate my ass. I had to admit say I ain't no 12. Yeah, nah. That's a whole lot of years I'm giving That's up. That's where we draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a little song like four years, like, oh, four years, yeah. Just yeah, look yeah. out for me when I get back. I ain't gonna lie. I'll be about 36. I'll be, I'll still be. Four years, you can take that. Hey, my life lit. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mm-hmm. been doing a motherfucking four Bro, years. I, I got a lot going on. I ain't on, trying to do a week. You give me four years nigga. of community service, I'll do it. I ain't doing a motherfucker behind no bars. I ain't trying to do a week <laughs> behind bars. <laughs> You ever been to jail, DJ? Hell no. All right. I ain't trying to go. <laughs> I heard that. Trust. I, hey, I live too much every day, bro. Hey, you know look. what I mean? You know how long I be waking up mad as fuck? Like, why the fuck am I even here? <laughs> I spent a night in that motherfucker, and I couldn't believe it. I ain't eat. I ain't, I ain't drink shit. I was like, man, fuck that. I die before. Man, I been scared. I wouldn't use the bathroom. Nothing. <laughs> I, I ain't do shit. I been holding my shit. Nigga was in that little bed like this right here. <laughs> Let one of these niggas move off their bed, bro. It's gonna be a problem. Like, mm. and niggas just be going back and forth to that shit. Yeah, bro. hell no. Nah. Yeah, nah. I can't get comfortable in that motherfucker. Hey, what y'all think happened if 
hypothetically, if R. Kelly and I said got out, and that motherfucker went on tour. The world, like, if R. Kelly gets out, I, I, I'm convinced the world's going to end. If R. Kelly uh, get off this shit. Oh, well, he got he got, he got them charged. I think it's over for him. Y'all saying, like, if he just get, like, a couple years, like, five years or something, and he just I get really out. did think, bro. He's going to do some chill. He's time. not going to. I mean, Bill did <laughs> some time. Mar- Hell, Martha Stewart did some you gotta think, time. You got to think. <laughs> he, you got to think he's been in there two years already. Already. So it's going to go concurrent with it. So, well, yeah, they can say time served. Time so, served, exactly. Yeah. Some something gonna come up in the future. Now I'm saying, like, oh, it's inconclusive. Now I'm saying, watch what I tell you, bro. Remember that? What is it? Three episode three eighty two. Watch what I tell you. Some shit gonna come back. The motherfucker ain't gonna do all that time. If I tell you what, and man. when he dropped that album, boy, yeah. I can't, man. Look at him. You can't wait. I damn sure can't. Oh my god. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Hey, check this out. I'm not one of the one who gonna goddamn take it. Bro, R. Kelly ain't coming this out my lobby. Sick Negro. Hey, call it what you want. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, sicker than a bird flu. Nah, but nah, his music definitely gonna stay. That shit. Hey. I mean, the nigga's a hell of a songwriter, bro. I'm gonna be honest. Like, I will probably never give up. I believe I can fly. Bro, I'm not giving yeah. up a damn thing with R. Kelly name in my play in my lobby. Nah, I'm, I'm, oh, this, this is a good topic right here. See, I'm another nigga. I can live without R. Kelly music. For real? I could do it, bro, but I believe I can fly is just, and it, it's such an inspiration. Bro, that nigga it's was only, in the fields, bro. Now, I, I, I remember having to say that shit at my graduation. I think it was like- At your gra- at, bro, at, they four. At uh, either daycare <laughs> or fucking K4 or some shit. Yeah, it's one R. Kelly song where I wanted to listen to it last year, and it's a safe- I got some- Random Bachelor Podcast is a safe space. I went on YouTube and looked that shit. I couldn't go on Apple Music. I, I, as much it, as I love, I believe I can fly. I ain't heard that it's shit. A, it's a song since the last time I watched Space Jam. On, I think it's like uh, the third. What's it? TPT. TP. What TP? Oh, I don't know what you're talking, talking about. Uh, about. Uh, just R and B. R and B thug. That's that exactly is, what you're talking yeah. about. R and B thug. TP two dot com. Can only be one, one and me. me. All and right. Nobody. Yeah, let me stop before we get canceled. R and B thug. That's track number two. Bro, this nigga know the numbers of the song. I'm trying to tell y'all, <laughs> hey, I'm an Arkell, hey. That nigga got his Listen, discography down. Nigga, I out. went on YouTube. I'm like, bro, this shit can't be in the, the Apple Music algorithm. Ooh, ooh, bro. ooh, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> My dog used to make animal sounds in them damn booze, dog. Straight up. <laughs> Like yeah. I really did got songs where I'd be like, bro, I would love to make a baby too from R. Kelly. But I'm yeah. like, bro, I can go without R. Kelly music though, to be honest. It's just something where like it's like one of them things where they they be like, after 21 days, you can you develop a habit. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, R. Yeah. Kelly shit. I don't listen to I don't went so long without listening yeah. to the nigga music. I like, I can live without R. Kelly music. I just listen to Usher. It's just I I I feel like um it'd probably be two or three songs for me that if they came on like <coughs> it, and it wasn't at my control you know what yeah. i'm saying i'd have to like subconsciously remind myself like yo you Bruh, can't imagine it's you in the club the dj doing an r&b ride out and feeling on your booty come on oh my man. god oh man, man. you know i'm gonna bro this i'm gonna time, leave the club just for time, my my sake shit. you know what i'm saying you know what i do when i hear r kelly in the club when they doing a ride out i put my phone i say see I you just, see all these I fake was, mad motherfuckers in here i was just about to ask you you be in the clubs heavy they still be playing r kelly yeah bro i know jacksonville they bro, I still, yeah bro like it seems like bro they play it seems like you ready and damn that's a hit bro that shit ain't going nowhere that's a hit bro that's a hit bro look at you now you thinking about like boy let i remember me, diving with them titties down, on players let, club. Me down, <laughs> let me down a little title real quick that's a hit <laughs> let me listen to that bitch on title <laughs> but think about this bro out of all hey, these I was artists tell, i was telling the uh, homie banks like when you it, it's certain artists where you can't really listen because you do you got apple music yeah Apple Music, people can see you. You can so see the history. Yeah. I, told, I told that nigga. I did a Gucci fan like that. Like, when they were siding with Gucci when we were doing the Jeezy yeah. and Gucci shit. And that motherfucker, had, I seen one of my homegirls in, my, in the Apple shit when she was listening to old Jeezy Project. Yeah. I said, all right, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tweet your ass. Yeah, that nigga Banks, I caught that nigga on Apple Music. He was listening to Tory Lanez. I'm like, got you. <laughs> <laughs> and I, had t- I told him, I'm like, bro, I, I know I did that to you, bro, bro. I went on title a couple weeks ago. <laughs> oh, I get it. And I, and I already kept. I was in some XXX Tentation on. I was like, oh, yeah. damn. He, <laughs> he not even in my. Uh, yeah, he my got two songs. Right. He got two fire songs. But I think the only song in my in my Apple Music that got XXX, you know what I'm saying, in a 
in a uh, track is the one he got uh, Kodak. Kodak. He got one Kodak. Yeah. Nah, yeah. He ain't, yeah. I ain't even got a lot of Kodak in my shit. Oh, damn. Uh, but nah, it's uh, the song he got Don't Cry. It's a Lil Wayne song, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I was yeah, on the yeah, Carter yeah. Five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, ain't, I, don't, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't really hip. The, out of all the kind of new artists, only one I really fuck with the most is Moneybag. Mm. Before it's like I'm not a big, I'm not like a real Kodak fan. Or I feel like Moneybag's league. music is is like I feel like it was better before he got like the recognition he's yeah. getting now. You know what I'm saying? It's working. That's, when it was like like, the, like, the, like the federal mixtapes, like man too fed, with yeah. uh, uh, NBA Young Boy yeah. was Fed uh, Baby. That was fed come babies. on, yeah, the Fed Baby was crazy. Yeah. Um, and a lot of like. <coughs> I just feel like uh, his music is now too commercial. It, that Waukesha yeah. shit is. Yeah, it's, it's, he, he catered more. I like to the remix though. though. I do like the remix. I love. I, do, I love uh, Waukesha though. That, that bit is influential. Like it's only. I don't, I ain't never drunk lean. I ain't never drank lean. You know what I'm saying? But it's right. only a few songs. I was like, bro, if I drunk lean, this would be the this song. Be. <laughs> yes, me and my drink by Lil Wayne. Yeah. And Waukesha. Waukesha. And sipping on scissor, you got to. Yeah, yeah. Waukesha had IG in on a, in a chokehold. Yeah, it definitely did. For like boy. five months straight. I think it beat Mooski uh, track star for real. Oh yeah, for sure. They yeah, ran, they it played definitely that did. shit. But track star hard as fuck to me. Like that's a that's a hard record. It is. It it definitely. I don't is. understand why people ain't like that record. They did. I ain't like it. I think what it was. I think they just played the fuck out of it. I think I think it was that. And then too, there's really no like. Not to say substance, because it's not a substantial record. It's yeah. uh, it's no, it's nothing hearty about that. Like outside yeah. of the chorus, like once you get into the exactly, verses, yeah. it's, it's it's like empty. So yeah, he give me simp vibes. Man. Yeah, like when Bryson Tiller. Perfect example, Bryson that nigga, Tiller. That nigga story is probably one <laughs> of the saddest stories. Like. <laughs> one album, he after one album, he just fell off. Please that nigga save comes him for me. me. Like, what the name of that song was? But I'm gonna tell you what, that project was exchange. good. That project sure. was that project was great. That project was great. I don't know about that. You don't know about that? I feel like the sequencing was good. I ain't gonna lie, the I, track I, list I was great. I don't know nothing outside them two songs, Don't and Exchange, I swear. Yeah, that's yeah. really all he had on that album. Bryson Tiller is not good, dog. I'm not saying he's good. That project bro, was put I, together man, pretty well. Man, I got well. tired of seeing him on my debut timeline. project. I that seen was... I seen that nigga perform live at Made in America. He's people not. he was yawning. Yeah, he's not a good like he's not a good performer. He's not good as an artist. Like even his videos that came out around that time, I feel like that was the main reason he didn't have much going for that album. Yeah, this why he this why he fell off quick. He tried to do the mysterious shit. And you exactly. can't do that. Now. I ain't like exactly. that. I feel like that was a simp ass song. For if real. he would have, if he would have played more, don't was definitely a simp ass song. He, he, but he made, it he made sonically but, was put together. He perfect. made nothing but pillow talk music. He did. He did some sucking. But to music. me again, <laughs> that's 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 fine for a first album. You know what I'm saying? As an R and B artist, that would have been fine for a first yeah. album. He carried that shit on throughout his entire. That career. was probably the biggest simp record since Mario Wine. And I don't want to know. <sighs> Yeah, that's, 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 <laughs> or that, that or that sense. tank I deserve. I deserve, bro. I tell you, I say, dog, he was a real goddamn fuck nigga. For that. Man, but man. Yeah, I would he, never. He, he definitely hey, was a fuck nigga. I, was, I deserve. I was not a deserve last you week. Cause you know they put Tank music back on. It's finally on Apple Music. Hey, you a- <laughs> that's so hard, bro. <laughs> shit. But I ain't gonna get. I ain't gonna get tap into that oh, shit. I ain't gonna live the song. It ain't, ain't hard enough. Hey, you it ain't hard enough. I cheat on you. That. You stay, goddamn it. That was your choice. We, hey, we gonna play tick and tack around here, goddamn it. <laughs> I ain't oh, feeling yeah, yeah. it. Straight up. I'm just, straight I, up. Straight I, I, up. I really like the song. I ain't feeling the bars. I, mean, I ain't gonna lie. It took me a while to listen to like real deal download, like when we and goddamn, uh, what the other one is? Man, when we was like, it's a straight record, but I, the only the time I've ever got? listened to uh, that was when I was fucking, fucking with me. Fuck with me. And then they got, please. The please, please, don't please don't go. go. Please oh, don't yeah. go. Nah. I can't stand that. The one. last song I listen to motherfucker say, please, you got there, Jane Brown. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't listen to some nah, shit that's a, nigga that's with a nigga classic, begging, though. bro. That's a classic. Right, bro, the begging, last bag I'm going to listen to is Key Sweat. Yeah. Key Sweat made that begging shit cool to a certain extent. But I can't listen to Key Sweat. That nigga can't say. I mean, he and got he got, he got like hits. three records, yeah. bro. I ain't like he keep got them hits now. He got a couple of hits though. He got a few, but he got a few records that I'm bumping and outside of that, that uh, I do not play him. Yeah, nobody twisted. Yeah. Right and wrong way. How deep I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't think the verse was going. Matter of fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. He got a few more that than I'm giving shit. him credit got, for. Know, but. Got a woman cut close, uh 
Get up on it. That shit was raw. I don't know. You might. If you really, yeah, really. Want oh that yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Another song. Yeah, yeah. Uh, didn't R. Kelly write that? I wouldn't be surprised. I that man, be. bro. That man revamped Charlie Wilson career. He really Damn, did. you hey got girl, a point. my name is Charlie. Lat- you bro, got a R- point, bro. Think about no, it. No, 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 no. Kelly Hold up. I'm gonna shit. give you a better one. Isley, run, run, <laughs> bro. This man bought somebody who was bumping in the six. 50s, 60s, and 70s, bro. Bought him in the 2000s. Bro, they popping now because of Versus, bro. They Hold doing, they doing no. festival tours like, and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. Them they on a tour timers, right now. Bro. It's like a tour of Lil Wayne and them on their own. Them yeah. niggas It's got timers, like the bro. one, it's like one music something. It's, uh, it's, it's coming. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if they one took them festival. niggas uh, urns and put them on stage bro. when they pass. <laughs> bro, they about to do, even though it's not going to be next year, it's going to be the year after that. They, gonna, they on Coachella, bro. I believe the eyes like, on Coachella. Yeah. I'm like, bro, they should have been on it, but, but like, Coachella bro, knew too. So I don't Coachella, think, like, for younger white people, I'm like, the eyes is on Coachella. Even I'm like, bro, you don't even know if them niggas gonna be alive. And <laughs> I you don't think that. I hope so. I but. ain't gonna lie, Rod been goddamn Rod been getting through it, but you know, like eight or nine of that. Well, he, they, got, they, he got young coochie, so that's keeping him he alive. He do, yeah. That that cool, yeah, that. When she, I get when I she get, got the fountain of youth between she, her legs. What, what? she about thirty five? When I'm yeah. about Ron age, I need me about thirty five year old white bro. Judge me if you want. I ain't gonna I lie, care. bro. You I, said I, that verse, wife or or yeah, they married. Ain't yeah, no, they oh, dating. Okay. Or girl, I think that's his wife, but I ain't okay. gonna be married. My dog got some new teeth in his mouth. Straight up, straight up. Man, look, I didn't say he good. Ron. Yeah. Um, and he and he keep it fresh. So he do. My dog yeah. came in with that. He ain't missed a step. He ain't missed a step. I say, bro, he had me proud. I said, bro, that's that how it came. Yeah, the women's getting nasty on Twitter. They were like, they were talking about giving Ron out. They were talking about fucking that, Ron. Yeah. I said, y'all bitch gonna that. get the worms, you man. Believe that. <laughs> I believe that. You'd be surprised how many of these uh, women I but have. But I wouldn't be mad, older, but older I wouldn't be mad. Nah, like, if I seen them fucking like a just old, nah, yeah. I said, nigga, fool, nah, I said, pocket full in the streets. Yeah. Bitch, you know and better. Ron got that bad. But if you fucking Ron, nah, I ain't even mad. <laughs> now, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't even judge a bitch like that. Yeah, like Ron been making money since the 40s consistently. Non stop. <laughs> a woman break it off to you like, hey, yeah, I used to fuck around on Isley. I'd be like, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna fuck with her no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck with her no more, but I'm gonna respect her. I say, Mr. Biggs? I'm gonna be like, <laughs> I'm gonna be like, damn, girl, that's what's up. <laughs> Man, that's what's up while I'm walking out the door. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm gonna respect it. Oh no, I'm gonna hit before yeah. I leave now. I'm gonna hit before I leave. Yeah. I'm gonna hit before right, I leave. Yeah, you a real dick. Yeah. I respect that. Yeah, I wouldn't you be mad. Hey, what Boosa? A real nigga. He said your girl fuck Boosa. A real nigga be glad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, hey, hey. but no, nah, I ain't gonna lie. The Isley definitely got some songs I love. Nah, I said not some shit out too. Oh, oh yeah, for man. sure, for sure. That choosy lover, man, bro. I got a playlist. Between the sheets, I got that a playlist too. for uh, uh, the Isleys. You know what I'm saying? If y'all need, for the love let of me you. know, cause it ain't never let, let me. Let me, yeah, let me know <laughs> that shit though, boy. Y'all know I live did a thing with it, but Ron definitely know what I'm saying. Man, look, I got work to do. Is one of work my favorite do, uh, records. Shit, like, I like Summer Breeze. That's that Summer shit too. Breeze is uh, when I be on when I be footsteps walking on the, in the sand, foot, like, footsteps in the dark, yeah, uh, in the dark, yeah, and voice of Atlantis. Yeah, boy. Oh um, my God! But that make me say it again, I, man. Bro, I told, I said, bro, I said, yeah, that's the one. You he gotta, really, he went deep in. That nigga the had the Santa Claus bag. That he did. Say. <laughs> I say, make me say it again. You got a slow stroke. Them men, missionary looking them in their eye. That's the one you got to. You <laughs> got to like tears close. out their eyes. You that, this yeah. close to that. <laughs> you got a slow stroke there as that song. Like man, yeah, make me say yeah. it again. You whispering in their ear like baby. And don't say goodnight. <laughs> don't say oh, goodnight. Man, like, come on, come on. That's what I got to end that shit to. Like, baby, after that, we just roll the fuck over and go to sleep. Uh, a lot man, of I tried folks. to play that shit when, like, when I was uh, 19 while smashing. And the chick told me, like, she <laughs> so like, cut that shit off. Shit, oh, shit off. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're it it, it ride now. It worked now. You're like when niggas in thirty. Me, yeah, no, you got, no, yeah. a nigga with nineteen, bro. Yeah, you got to fuck. A that was too. That was too. That was too early. Yeah, you got to fuck a cougar to shit like that. Like you try <laughs> you to fuck like, like around that, that time. Shit. What was the nigga like? Oh wait, I had to play like Jeremiah birthday sex or some shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Jeremiah is underrated. Like a motherfucker. Yeah. That nigga make fucking music. That impatient. That nigga make music for fucking. You know what niggas sleep on? I was not a Jeremiah fan next, when, he came, when he first came out. I wasn't either. I was like, till I had sex to one of his next records. Next time y'all niggas about to smash something, play that. I'm playing play Trey that, Play that Jeremiah. No, I never. I I probably I don't got. Know about Trey songs. I probably got Ooh. two records by Trey. That's in my. Bro. But play that Jeremiah and Ty Dolla Sign my Ty album. Niggas sleep on that. Bro, oh yeah, that's that. that shit. That yeah. is that. a classic. Yeah, I play let that. that whole album ride one time. Went bananas. <laughs> <laughs> 
went crazy that night. I'm gonna give you some homework. Listen to the All Trey right, Songs bet, bet. Ready album and get me and tell me what you think about See, it. See, here's okay. my problem with Trey Songs though. He has like he has pro he has albums, <coughs> right? It's been so long for one. He just dropped the project. I, I mean, think he dropped two albums yeah, last year. Yeah, he like dropped one. It was day. called like Eleven, and then the other one like called Back, like Finally Back Home, or Made Back yeah. Home. Type All right, shit. I have to tap Bro, in and see if they. I want to say good. he dropped two mixtapes because like he had a single off for. Uh, I have uh, to see if they any good, but another thing is looking back through the discography, it doesn't have like those albums don't have the same feel. Some of the records do. Yeah. No, it's a recent um my fault. Bro. No, 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 you good. No, it's a recent Trey Song song that you could play. Uh that Playboy song, still a Playboy. That I was hard. That. I'm completely I think that was on that Tremaine. Tremaine album. Yeah. yeah. I'm completely. I don't really like lost I don't really listen to Trey song. song like that, but that's a fire song right there. I forget what he did. I think that nigga like rapped on a song or something, and I was like, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm not I, I feel like when we he dissed R. Kelly one time. Oh yeah, he did. yeah. They had a beef for yeah, a while. He, was, he started with that man. So look, he taught us he cut, he cut R. Kelly cut the braids and shit. I'm like, how the fuck you gonna diss somebody who you? I thought inspired you. I thought it was originally he was coming out saying like he was the new like king of R and B type shit, and yeah. R. Kelly took offense, and then bro, that nigga just started dissing R. Kelly. Bro, I remember this shit because I remember I was downloading music off the buy mix. No, it was uh, what the it was a blue one mixtape. It was it was mixtape uh, website we could not say listen to download music and yeah he was dissing them then but that was a crazy time because I, I couldn't even believe anybody was dissing R Kelly I'm like point. bro how in the fuck I was like, you yeah. disrespectful little bastard Josh said you was a delinquent <laughs> <laughs> what you say is y'all top five R and B like male artists mm, that's a good question that's a great question and taking well, my, out of well, my, my number one is Maxwell so I'm gonna go Maxwell you like Maxwell Usher. yeah Maxwell Usher. But Maxwell make more like neo souls type shit, but mm -hmm. I'm gonna put him because he started off with the R and B shit. Yeah. Now he more like soul ne like neo soul type shit. Maxwell got some shit, bro. I ain't gonna Maxwell Urban got, Hang Suit, one of my favorite favorite albums ever. Yeah. Maxwell got some records that like legit will make you feel away. Like it's like hold up. Even his new shit, ready. the little series yeah. he doing, the little Black Summer Night shit. Uh -huh. All them albums incredible. The thing I don't like about Maxwell is that nigga be he dropped albums like eight years like he'll drop an yeah. album and then you gotta wait like six years yeah. for the next one that's what i i mean he dropped that pretty wings boy. oh that pretty yeah. wings that pretty was his comeback wings, that was, it was, a that, was that was his comeback because at that point he <clears throat> dropped an album in 10 years and yeah. then he came out with that pretty wings and that nigga was back like he never left yeah. i was like bro and then then now his last album came out like seven years ago i'm like mm -hmm. come on bro drop yeah. music bro mm -hmm. yeah. so um he, so i got maxwell yeah, that's kind of shit, kind of hard. I got Maxwell. Um, I want to say Usher. And we talking like current or just yeah, just your, who you think? Know what I'm saying top now. Five can you count like the old school niggas like Marvin Gaye? Like, is that R and B if, still or yeah, is that the cause, soul? Because then I'll go David Ruffin, then I'll go Marvin Gaye, man, and then I'll go fifth. I'm not sure on the fifth one. I come back at I come back, but that's that's four right there. I probably would put Sam Cooke, Marvin Gaye. Um, I want to add Curtis Mayfield. Um, I'm your pusher, man. Yeah, we need some current niggas, though. Yeah, that's what I... I ain't gonna lie, I really did think... I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna give y'all one... Voice-wise, them niggas back in the day got that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like, there, there's nobody that's Except singing one. now. Like, Except that's one. singing, singing. Oh, yeah, Who's the like, one? I'm, I'm curious right, on one. I'm gonna tell you, you already know about one. Oh, yeah, right. I get it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I got him as the... Goat. <laughs> 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 um, I'm gonna say this, man. Ty Dolla Sign has really, like, surprised yeah. me. The evolution of his career right now, I would say Ty Dolla Sign is top five. Uh, I, can, at, I can see it. So let's let's just do current. So I'm gonna say like right now, Ty Dolla Sign will be in my top five. Um, I might put Jeremiah in my top five because yeah. consistently, like when it comes to R and B, his music mm -hmm. has not let me down. Like Frank Ocean. Oh, Frank Ocean is probably number one right now. Frank Ocean ain't got enough music for me, but I put Frank Ocean in my top five. You, I, you, you, I, got, you ain't got Chris Brown in your shit? I probably would put Chris Brown, but he's dropped too much music now, yeah, and yeah. it's starting to overcast his good music, if that makes sense. Chris Brown at this point now where that nigga will drop an album with like 30 40. people. 
I mean, 30 songs, songs, and I'm like, nah, I'm not listening to that shit. Yeah. My top five male R&B is R. Kelly at one, Usher at two, <laughs> Trey Songz at three, um, Chris Brown at four, and my fifth was, damn, um, hmm, that fifth low key up for. Grand. Yeah, I still ain't picking for fifth for fifth yet. So yeah, I gotta put Chris Brown. R. Kelly, so yeah, R. Kelly, Chris, R. R. Kelly, Usher, Trey Songz, Chris Brown. <clears throat> um, in a fifth, it'd probably have to be somebody in the goddamn nineties for me, bro. Like, cause that old school shit hit different. Cause if I'm gonna go old school, I'm gonna real deal. Nah, so I'm gonna fuck with uh, Marvin Gaye, Al Green, mm. Luther Vandross. Luther um, is like in a category of his own to me. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Luther has like albums that yeah. just amazing music. I don't know. That feels bro. I might fuck around and put Keith in there. Keith? Uh, Keith would never make my top five. He can't say. He got them. If I do, if I had to pick an old school uh, top five, I put Willie Hutch in my shit. Willie. Willie Hutch. Wow, that's a great one. That's a great addition. <clears throat> nah, groups. Willie Hutch kind of slept on. Now I could do a group smoothly. Groups. Okay. OJ's, uh, the Osleys. I got to say the thing about the groups. I can't do one off the top of my head For like real? that. For, real. For my five, I'm going to go the Osleys at one. Mm hmm. Frankie Beverly and Mays at two. Okay. Um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. After that versus Earth, Wind, and Fire definitely oh, yeah, can sure, get in there. Sure, sure. But that mean I'm having to knock out somebody of my '90s. Okay, niggas ain't fucking with Jodeci. That's what I'm saying. My '90s, so oh, I okay. got now. But, oh, but the man. thing is though, I, I ain't got Jodeci in my top five. Damn, I got Jagged Edge. Okay, <laughs> over Jodeci. I, I respect it. If Jagged still. Edge and Jodeci did a versus Jagged Edge, kicked their ass. Mm. Them first five to ten rounds, you gotta be I gonna be a fight. Jodeci only really had about two albums. That's what I'm saying. And not just that, even in the, those two albums, they only had so many songs. Exactly. So I think because Casey Edge and JoJo wins. went as a duo. After right. A while. Right. I feel like in a verse they could play their shit, Casey and JoJo shit. But I mean, even, yeah, they so you could. Gotta, yeah. You, you gotta think if they were to do a verse, they could play their shit they had with Tupac. How do you want it? Yeah, 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 they yeah. got features, but yeah. I ain't gonna lie, Jagged Edge, bro, real Jagged deal. Edge had Jagged Edge had they everything. Got that they run had features. Like, they had yeah. same as Jodeci pull out a good ten hits, right? Yeah, nigga, eleven through twenty. Jagged Edge is the didn't Jagged Jagged Edge did a versus didn't they? Did they win that shit? They did a versus one twelve. One twelve, yeah. I, I ain't watch it, but I'm pretty sure. Goddamn, Jagged Edge dragged they motherfucking ass. But I, I got, I got to go That's back a, and watch it. Joe keeps saying, Keith Sweat can't sing. That nigga slim from one twelve can. That nigga save. can't save yeah. the save like that if that nigga suck. legit had to save his life on a note, he would die. I remember when they broke up and that nigga went solo. I like yeah, I ain't listening to none of that shit. You know what? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put Earth Wind and Fire at my three, and then Jagged Edge and Jodeci at my four and five. No, Jagged Edge and Drew Hill at my four five spot. Now Drew Hill, Drew Hill definitely would make yeah. my five. Um, Jagged Edge is is another good one. I'm trying to think if there was anybody that I would. It was other mo- like Boys to Men. Nah, I'm saying they was another group, but I feel like they couldn't stand in the paint with them two groups. Nah, they again not enough. Records. I think that'd be a good verse. Bro, Boys to Men and Jodeci. Boys to Men made whole nigga music, bro. They really yeah. did, dog. They made, some, they made clown on bended knee. Yeah, bro. They yeah, made, I ain't respect that they shit. They made swagger with nigga they, music. They made music for like old begging ass niggas, yeah. like and and that I wasn't into growing up, so. Like I say, that's no, Mama. I was, I was Mama was like, road. Mama was yeah, my record. You know hard. what I'm saying? Like, that, Mama, yeah, that shit, man, yeah, that shit, draw water at your ass. Boy, what? what? In the soul nigga food, nigga used to fuck up, bro. Yeah, and I play that record to apologize. <laughs> nigga walk in the room like this right here. Man, I remember we used to watch Soul Food, bro. That song, man, what the fuck you cry for? I'd be like, man, I got a headache. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and they play that shit right when the mama is exactly like, oh, oh, oh. I was like, why would y'all play that? <laughs> Even when the video was out for the song, bro, like they show yeah, her that, the hospital. I ain't gonna shit. lie, that movie, I couldn't watch it around my mama. I ain't even want her man, knowing I was crying. I was like, man, I got a homegirl, bro. She broke some shit down. She was like, that's a more like how the movie crazy, how the, the, the soul food, the reason she died. Yeah, yeah. For real. And they kept having soul man, food Sunday really. dinner afterwards, like, bro, y'all ain't learned yet. For real. They were like, man, we ain't big as her, so just give us a couple years. That's all they thought. 
Yeah. They do some cardio. They was in the garden and shit. Yep. Like, some and the other the chick garden. was a dancer. Uh, Cousin <laughs> Faith, boy. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cousin Faith was the freak. Shout out to Cousin Faith and all yeah. the Cousin Faiths out there in the world. You know what I'm Y'all saying? Y'all know some Cousin Faiths? I damn sure I do. Yeah. <laughs> I got a Cousin Faith in my family. Damn. <laughs> I, got I think cousin Faith keep the ecosystem. I got alive. a cousin Faith in my family too. Everybody got a cousin Faith. I'm trying to think if I do. I, she extended. She say family. fuck the family, family, fuck my husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was, That's the trillion uh, phrase I, of that whole movie. The cousin Faith I got in my family. She was wilding at a young age, bro. I was like, <laughs> I was like I'm ashamed to be related to you. That's crazy. <laughs> Man, shout out to the cousin Faith. <laughs> and then at the end, when they got the money, and then like cousin Faith had the money, and I was like, yeah, you put that shit down, bitch. Straight up, you don't she, get the touch. Oh yeah, this. boy, yeah, she didn't get the fuck about it. She there, had boy. a big ass stack in her hand. I was like, nah, you gotta get but the, the fuck thing, about it. I don't know though, but she ain't really piss everybody else. She just pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Cause the Faith probably would clutch to the other family members. <laughs> oh yeah. She just ended, she she, just, she yeah. ended one of their marriages. Yeah, she just nonsense saying like the fuck on family hit from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> they were like, hey, that ain't my husband. That's your husband. That's your man. husband, yeah. It's, yeah. So um we was just talking about Boosie. Did you see the Boosie movie? Man, I still I did. I, I just gotta finish watching it. Oh, okay. I ain't gonna lie, I'm rolling on the clip. <laughs> 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 what PLC is that? Oh my god. They had that nigga talking Eat like the blind man nigga. from Boondocks. <laughs> what that nigga name was uh, in the Boondocks? Um, <laughs> Merry Christmas, oh, nigga. Oh, stink meaner. Stink meaner, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, when he when Pimp C just inadvertently said nigga, I was like, what? what? I was like, bro, this is not a good Pimp C. Nigga? nigga. Nigga? It was we just out that, of nowhere. Get that money, nigga. <laughs> like, all right. I would let I say, damn, boy. Nigga doubled down. I heard they done nonsense snatched another one of Boosie Pages off IG. Yeah, yeah they, they did. He ain't got no IG now. Bro, that shit uh, crazy. Supposedly, so he been tweeting that. Yeah, he been on Twitter. Supposedly, it was because of- um, Him asking Drake to promote his movie? I think I think so. Him saying nigga yeah. on there or something like that. What? Yeah. That's like stupid. he was saying, he 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 was doing something, but uh, they said after he nonsense ass pretty much done to promote the movie in Canada, they said that's when after that, yeah. when, that when they took this shit down. Yeah. Nah, that's crazy. So I somebody, thought maybe they took it down because he just been harassing. He been saying fuck Zuckerberg and shit. So I thought uh, maybe they he, like now yeah. he been promoting the fuck out of his movie though. Yeah, that's, that's all he been doing trying. lately. Um, they say that rumor has it. Let me say Twitter has it. Uh, oh, that Twitter was, gonna have them. Twitter <laughs> gonna have the facts, boy. Supposedly he was well, offered a million, yeah, yeah, for the movie, and he turned it down to do it independent. And. <laughs> I'm not sure that it's paid out the way that he thought it would. But here's the thing: Twitter wouldn't know because they're not gonna know. They're not, the, they, yeah, they're not yeah. gonna know the numbers. You can't find like, it. He went in the room. They was negotiating. He's selling it off his. He's selling it off, off his website, website. So only Boosie gonna know the numbers for mm-hmm. real. For real. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he can't. He doing it kind of like twenty dollars. But twenty dollars a pop. Shit. Depending on how many motherfuckers. Know what I'm twenty dollars. God damn. Yeah, he charging a dub trip. for it. Yeah, it's that twenty, trip. and then when you get 10, the link and ten dollars for the um, behind the scenes. Yeah, you paying twenty, and then when you get the movie, that shit is on Vimeo. Yeah, yeah. it's just a, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? But is he this tweeted shit? some shit. He would put a post like Vimeo take my shit now. He did like a video, like a, a post. When he was like Vimeo take niggas my shit. Niggas was wild. Niggas was playing. His they had this shit on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. yeah, they they uh that nigga was uh aging in dog years in that movie. Yeah, I was seeing that. <laughs> I was I was telling Eric, I was like, bro, if Jacksonville niggas, because I know Jacksonville niggas love Boosie to death. If yeah, Jacksonville bro. niggas don't do like a a private screening somewhere, yeah, I'm no, he did, he, he did, did do it? one. He he oh, did okay. one. Oh, okay, he did one on Friday. I want to say. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Damn. Oh, that's a bet. The, yeah. All right, man. I'm gonna have to tap in with you. <laughs> I'm about to get back on the scene, man. Yeah, Fuck we gotta tap in, go. I don't be doing shit. Fuck I mean, I'll be trying. I'll be trying to tap in, but you tapped in with the city head. Like for real, <laughs> this nigga. Bro. What's the wild? Like what all events you be at? Cause I be I be looking at your IG um, shit, bro. You be every fucking where. I mean, you shit. even be doing like your show in places. Yeah. I, mean, nah, I, I don't watch the show. You was at a damn wrestling match. <laughs> yeah, man, that was the night of the damn boxing thing. So the boxing event, they had like wrestlers there first. Uh, like they used to do at Plush. 
Yeah. Okay, that's fire. Because yeah. I was trying to watch this shit. I was about to go to that shit because a chick we know named China, she done been on the show. She Shout box. out to China Dub. She, <laughs> she was boxing. I, yeah, I was she was to... supposed to box. She was supposed to uh, box the other little red girl. Box. Nah. They box. They been promoting on, that shit for like a they year. They came on the podcast and did it. They was, matter of fact, it was right before because you know I said, you know, they was supposed to fight then uh, dude Bacon and um, Nardo was supposed to they, they, they fought. This was this no, this but was, they got two different girls to box. This over. was funny because before, like uh, three days before the boxing match, she was over at my crib doing a podcast with yeah. us, and she was like, "I got a boxing match this weekend." It was like, "What?" And she, she was came smoking, with the girl. She was smoking two blunts. Yeah, we were like, you got a boxing match? This <laughs> was like, bro, like, yeah, that, shit, got a match. that shit was funny I'm as like, hell. I'm like, like, no way you got your a training match. preparation is ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were like, I, we were like, we fuck with you, but we don't know if you're aware or not because you smoking crazy amount of blunts for a boxing. Match. I just want to be the one to know and pick up if she fail. You know what I'm saying? But I she didn't box. She, nah, she did. Oh, glad I ain't go then because I would have wasted. Other the girls money. that box, um, oh, I forgot the girl. What they did like the uh the last man standing kind of boxing. Nah, they were doing like three rounds, you know what I'm saying? Then, okay, they had it they organized. Had people judge, yeah. Oh, but yeah. you know what I'm talking about on YouTube? The yeah, last. last <laughs> <laughs> but nah, uh, it, but I ain't gonna lie, the, the shit was good though, you know what I'm saying? They had Miss Diamond Duval, she, you know what I'm saying, did her thing on the ring, you know. Yeah, she a legend, she ain't, <laughs> she yeah. ain't going nowhere. She did some shit, she went to shaking her ass and the power went out, I said, that was you. <laughs> I told that was her did that. Then uh, the, the most recent one, Tope, you know what I'm saying, she performed. Okay. So, Shout out to them boys that be doing that there, man. I enjoyed it though. I believe it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got to tap in with you, man. You be all Man, it's all love. Shit. I got you, man. Hey, it ain't no problem. <laughs> but now nah, these events in the city, I I I I uh I enjoy doing it because you know what I'm saying, give the city and the people to do something different that we don't know what I'm saying have access to all the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the boxing match that was creative. Now we having these different Galas, everybody doing galas now. So you know what I'm saying. I feel like don't that. hit me up when you do that because I don't like dressing up. <laughs> Just don't, this don't nigga hit me don't. Up. This nigga don't. I ain't like that's I done took. He ain't putting on slacks. Yeah, I love yeah, doing one of, that yeah, shit. Yeah, one man. of our homies getting married this weekend, and I'm dreading dressing up. <laughs> all right, bro, you lucky. All right, bro, you lucky. I love you, bro, because I don't like dressing up. For shit. <laughs> I can't. If I had a choice, I come to your wedding in a t-shirt and some shorts. I'm gonna be like in that suited, nigga. Nigga, this nigga talking about I was wearing a suit. I'm about to wear a button up and some slacks. Oh, I'm in the wedding, so I'm gonna. Oh, be, you in it? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm got my yeah. yeah, y'all got wedding rehearsal and everything. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be in that bit dancing. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I enjoy doing all these different. Yeah, I'm finna, I'm, I'm gonna be at the next one, man. Yeah, it's actually one finna come up. It's another one finna come up. All right, say less. Uh-huh. I don't even need to know the date. I'm there. I ain't gonna lie, like, I got, I got to find me some. I, I don't know where I'm getting shit from. But. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, when I come in them damn thing, I be dressing. I be like, I really do feel like when I walk in, I'm him. <laughs> like, I'm gonna give you a run, man. I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm that, about to tap in. I got a. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, boy. Motherfucker be at my head, bro. I got Baby a trying to come from it, dog. Suit designer. I'm about to tap in with, man. I ain't told you yet. Oh, yeah, he in the, is on. he in the city? Yeah, I know who it is. Who that? Ah, oh, that's funny. His name start with an A. <laughs> 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 oh shit! You, bro. Hey, you don't bet your match. Shout out to my dog. I got a designer. Is he in the city? I know who it is. Yeah. <laughs> I got another one too, though. A young nigga. A young nigga. And I think five. I know. I think I know you talking about too. All right. All right. You dark skin? Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> all right I met my man. <laughs> I took my hat to you, sir. This nigga Jordan be outsuited, bro. I ain't never seen this shit. <laughs> That's I ain't gonna crazy. lie, bro, but nah, I, I just started like real deal putting on suits um like 2019. And I remember I went to uh, one of my partners' weddings and I was in that shit hard, bro. People thought I was, I was the nigga that got married, bro. Yeah, like, that's nah. what changed your mind. And after that, I'm like, yeah, this real then I I got a whole alter ego. And I put on suits, I'm a different person. I worked in the office space up in North Carolina and I I started dressing up, you know what I'm saying, for that. People treat you different. Man, what? What? Me, they throw it at you. Is that you know what I'm saying? From all across the street. So I, I say shit. I might need to go. I might need to go back to suit and tie, bro. I, I, wear a suit. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That <laughs> that shit hit different. I, I'm gonna tell you yeah, what. I'm gonna the, tell you what. The, the defining moment for me was when I um, when I was doing like the media at Jeremy Mintz's birthday uh 
bad she had. It was like a birthday weekend. It was at Onyx. And um, me and my co-host was there. You know what I'm saying? We was dressed up real well. I was suited, of course. And he had all these different celebrities there. You know what I'm saying? And motherfuckers, when we networking, chopping up, rubber soda, they're like, hey, what, what do you do? And you know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers real deal, like, trying to see who I was. So I was like, yeah, I got, yeah. I got, I have to come out like this for now. So, I mean, that was in December 2019. After that, ever since then, after that, I've been, in, I've been on that shit. You motherfucker catch me on a random Tuesday, you know what I'm saying, with a suit on. Just, I, just cause. Did, yeah. Just cause. So, I definitely enjoy doing that shit for real. Yeah, I might, I might have to start getting, getting in the suit game. But let's talk about your show a little bit more. All right. Then we're going to wrap up soon because we've been we usually do about two hours yeah so you, you do you do y'all still do your podcast like every day because i was i remember at one point every when i first got day. tapped on tapped in with y'all shit monday through saturday and sometimes every on guy, sunday yeah every day first time i ever even heard of your show you had our uh our homie kwane on there kwane yeah. shout out to kwane man yeah, yeah kwane on there so okay yeah not yeah, and then was, she she was talking about on Twitter. I was like, I gotta tap in. So I went on Facebook. I was, I started watching that shit. I was like, man, this shit is fucking hilarious. <laughs> and then I had followed y'all. I followed because I wasn't really sure how many episodes y'all dropped. I followed y'all and I put turning notifications on, and I was just getting notifications every day. I was like, these niggas drop a show every, every fucking night, day. Bro. That was Are y'all gonna do one tonight? Nah, nah, damn, I fuck. We fucked it up, but yeah. Nah, even we all good. We all good, but we will be back tomorrow. Tomorrow, tomorrow night, we back on. I, you know, what I'm saying like I be that everyday shit, fun and cool. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, like we still got, you know, what I'm saying personal lives. You know, co-hosts got kids. You know, they work. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? other co-hosts they work. You know, what I'm saying do their thing. So, and I'm just getting back from Miami. So you know, I all like, ain't nothing wrong with nine saying having, having a little day or two off of here and there. So yeah. But yeah, we definitely gonna be back steaming tomorrow. But yeah, them everyday things like I don't it was I just have fun with it, no problem. Like don't get me wrong, like that shit is real there, like a job. Like yeah, podcasting is a fucking job. Like so, yes, yeah, because people don't know because we 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 don't do our shit every day. Yeah, we do like we do this Tuesday. We go around two hours and then yeah. we like do a bonus episode. And we got extra shit on our Patreon, but like to sit there. Even just just to just do it one day, it's hard to just come up with topics. Yeah, and I know y'all. Since y'all do y'all shit every day, you probably feel like you talked about every damn thing. Check this out. That's the thing. Like, think about it. Since two thousand nine, so Life and Four been up since January twenty January like January twenty six, something like that. Twenty second, twenty six of two thousand nineteen, <clears throat> and it's always been. Three new three topics a day. <laughs> Think about that shit now. That's hard work. For, yeah, for six, real. Six days a week for and real. sometimes seldomly on Sunday. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Three topic, three fresh, brand new topics, you know what I'm saying? Day by day by day by day. And it gets two hundred twenty one now. Yeah. I took my hat to you. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like now we done we don't re, we stay revamping. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes we can depending on the guest or what we talking about, we can go for two hours or an hour. Or sometimes we can just go in, hit it for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes. Yeah. And shit be clutching out. So it's like, it just all really did depend on yeah. how the shit going. And then your, your listeners can't really complain because like, you're going to come with another episode the next day. Exactly. Like, they can't complain about 30 right, minutes. Right, right. So. Exactly. That's why we be coming in here sometimes and like, we do two hours for the most part, but it's been times where we just do like, I, I think it was a couple of weeks ago where we just did like, an hour ten, all that, like, bro. Y'all can't complain because we're gonna hit y'all with a bonus this exactly. week. Yeah, so, yeah. If you got an issue with that? Get the Patreon. Yeah. Straight up, you, ain't got you the got Patreon, more content. If you ain't got the Patreon. I'll fuck you. Cause Straight you're up, just gonna that, you're, just gonna that, <laughs> you're just gonna get that hour ten this exactly. week. But I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's just not like I said. It just all depends on you know what I'm saying. Like the flow of things, real. The flow of things definitely not saying make a big difference for real. So if, it, if it's just not saying you normally two hours and it'd be like an hour and 10, an hour or something. Yeah. And that hour, brother, motherfucking done laugh to they stomach in the night. Right, right. Or they real deal got some info, you know what I'm saying? Or some free game, bro, that's a win. Like Exactly. That's what it's all about for real. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers still relatable. Been, and motherfuckers been nothing, uh, spread the word, shared it, you know what I'm saying? So it's still a win for real, so. Yeah. And you're not shorting the people. And y'all just on, y'all just pretty much on Facebook only. 
Yeah, we gonna we we like I said, we finna get it where it's on like YouTube, Apple, Spotify, title, and all that. Yeah. So definitely. Yeah. Six days a week, man. You doing it? Yeah, six <laughs> days. Yeah. Yo, we, go, we about to do six days a week. I, I, I can't. I, I can't do it. I'ma tell you, bro. That I'm shit ready, ain't, man. bro. That shit ain't no hoe. Nah, I ain't even gonna hey, lie look, to you, dog. I'm like, about to hang the rug business up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I can. When I was watching your shit, like I was watching like every episode at one point, and I was like, it's different diet. Like, I was like, bro, this nigga to go at this shit, bro. <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. I was like, bro, six episodes. Cause I know y'all about on y'all like on episode four hundred and something now or something. Bro, like we that. about to be on. Let me see. Yeah, I'm in. I think we in the four fifties, right? Oh, like, bro, that's, yeah, y'all doing yeah. it. Y'all doing it. 450 something right now. Cause once you, cause we at 382. Once you get to this point, to anybody like an up, up and coming podcaster, you gonna forget. I I can't even remember past. Somebody asked me something that happened this year on the Man. podcast. Yeah, I like, like I was like, bro, I don't even. It know. gotta be significant. It things, has to bro, be like, like, and not just significant because I feel like what's significant to the audience is still different to yeah. us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, something had to stick out for real. Like, motherfucking nonsense. I'm starting to forget key moments. Yeah. Like, when for it, real. It be like that. For real. I, there are classic jokes that we've made that, like, have, have they're absent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, um and and as people talk about them on Twitter and shit, I'm like, damn, I gotta go back and find that episode. Like, yeah. yeah, somebody bring up a joke. I'm like, man, I, I think when it when on Facebook, know, bro. bro, when the memories come up, like that's when it real. It be that shit hit different because it's like, man, like damn, bro, I said this shit. Nah, yeah. I said we see shit like a year ago, two right, years right, ago, right, right. So I'm gonna tell you, uh, Amp posts the the clips from the podcast on IG and shit, yeah. and um. He sends them to us in our tech, our group chat and shit yeah. like that. And as I go through and I'm like re reminded of of just some of the things we've discussed over yeah. the year and shit, I come across certain clips. And man, I laugh to this day, like just if not harder, just as <laughs> hard um, as I laugh when it happened. Yeah, like, that pressed the wrong. Probably button. laugh harder for real, yeah. like. Man, it's certain clips that for sure take me back and and like you say, tie my whole stomach in a knot. Yeah, yeah. And the Loki make you appreciate the craft for it. You know what indeed, I'm saying? Like indeed, stuff like and that. the hard work that we yeah. put in, everything. And you see your growth and everything. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yeah, man. I'm definitely glad we finally made this shit happen. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. <laughs> Long overdue. What? Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, we, we, hey, we gotta run it back, man. Hey, y'all gotta come on, I'm saying, come oh, to the yeah. come on, yeah, man. Definitely come gotta on, come man. on the couch, <laughs> now, I'm saying. Yeah, we gonna pull you already up, know, shit. Up, you up. set it up. Yo. Six days a week, I'm available, <laughs> nigga. You know what I'm saying? He's like, any minute, mighty move. Just let us know what day, me and Joe gonna pull up to that shit for hey, real. Come on, you, man. you we know, gonna have a good time. We gonna rock out, know what I'm saying? And matter of fact, I wanna shout you out, man. You got on the Tez Brooks, uh, Brooks, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Tez Brooks, dog. Yeah, I definitely fuck with. Tez, man. Hey. I need to make that a rug for him. Holla at me, boy, Tez. That raw, boy. Have a Come goat, on, a man. Goat rug. Come on, man. Holla at your boy. I ain't gonna lie, man. I be, I be trying. When I was getting shirts from Tez, I be trying to like outdo that. I say, everybody. I be, I be trying to think of color schemes. Ain't nobody got. Right, right, right. I said, hey, bro, make me a gold goat with nines <laughs> outlined in black on a white tee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out to Tez. Hell yeah, man. He for sure. He one of the funniest comedians definitely, out of the city, definitely, for definitely. sure. And I love like his his uh path to this. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Seeing how far he's come and whatnot, definitely. watching from afar. So shout out to Tez. Yeah, I definitely support Tez heavy. He definitely a uh, good friend. So I shout out, I fuck with Tez. Yeah, any chance I get to see him perform live, I'm try, I, I, I try to be there. Yeah, he definitely not saying going there. He, he going to the top. Like, oh, yeah, like, for sure. It's only a matter of time. That nigga funny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That oh, shit. Well, yeah, we're around two hours, man. We're going to wrap up now. But, yeah, we're going to bring you back. Guys, too, man. Pull up, hey. We pull up on y'all. This was this was a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. We had a list episode. of topics. I ain't even. For we, real? Didn't, we didn't we get into the topics. To <laughs> Me and Joe probably do a bonus episode this weekend, and then we'll run through everything. Yeah, if that's cool with you. Yeah, I'll yeah. chat with you. Nah, you good, all man. Right, all right, all right. Um, I, I, I play position. Um, I, you lucked up. 
You know what I'm I saying? I ain't gonna lie, man. We got my, we might gotta find a different option or something. We better put the goddamn beat to the mic or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, but we have a technical difficulty. I'll put the goddamn the phone to the goddamn Y'all mic. Y'all heard boy, it that here. Shit go. We got our first uh guest that that's ready to rap. For real, ain't nobody been, been wanting to smoke. Nah, man. They, oh man, I'm definitely like, I definitely gotta. We put them on the spot. You know what I'm saying? Then so they gotta be ready. Like that's what I say. What if a girl want to get some pussy on the spot? What they gonna do? Uh, oh uh, man, that's the, it. Motherfucker, let me go to the gas station. Real quick. That's it. You gotta be quick. You gotta entertain it. You gotta entertain it. You got to. Like, yo, look. Uh, when I was rapping, rapping, yeah, you could meet me anywhere. Oh, BP. I ain't shit. Well, Say less. I'm there. I got these don't bars meet, for you. Don't meet me there. Beat me there. Straight up. Okay. Play it out loud. If y'all can hear that, we're gonna see what we're gonna do. Nah, I'm saying this. <laughs> It's a young boy type beat, all right. I'm still blown so, away that that's yeah. that. Yeah. So how y'all do it, y'all? Now saying we giving each other little words to go off or y'all just go? Nah, go. just go. All right. Let me see. Never wrong. Never wrong. The beat called Never Raw. Uh, I'm that nigga that you never saw. Hold on. If it played through the speakers, it'd be a little easier yeah. to catch. Hold on. Because it's definitely oh, hard. Now, hold on. Feeling real good back on the beat, man. Once again, RIP. Hold on. Okay. Started with one time. All right, I got you. I got you. All right. Never raw. Man, I'm too legit for that. Niggas quoting folks. Man, where they go with that? I'm with the ride and with the go that's on the shirt now. I'm feeling this bitch. I'm feeling good. Who gonna get hurt now? Get murk now. We certain now. Matter of fact, we finna go berserk now. We're perp now. Hold on, what you talking? What hit Kurt now? Curtis Mayfield. I, I need the blowback. So they wanna go. It's Thursday, man. That's a throwback. Finna kill all this shit, man. It's a toe tag. I don't even like the jazz. We gonna go fast. Man, bitch, I'm feeling good. I got the 12s on. Reverse on the taxi now. Put them on the shelves. On huh? back in the box. Niggas selling them rocks. I be getting all kind of calicos with Glocks. People talking about they want to stop market, but they ain't in no stops. But I be like, damn, I'm so South Paul. You an Orthodox. And this bitch, I'm feeling good. And I don't clean the clocks. And this bitch, I'm like, damn, man, what a fucking flop. And I don't fuck with flocker. And no fentanyl. No. They say they like to get it, but I don't like fenty dolls. I like that fenty, that Prada, that Gucci, too. I mean, this bitch, I'm riding with Goosey, too. Man, it's a young boy. I ain't a young toy. I just like them young hoes that make that young noise. 23 or better. I had to say it clear. Because I've been damn you sending me an R. Kelly letter. I ain't doing here. You know my shirt hella yellow. Fuck it. That shit. Monte go. I mean, shit's cheddar. And this bitch I'm getting, you know, a go getter. Come around. They want to feel it. But I ain't with pedophilia. Hold on. Feeling good, man. We on that. These rappers don't like the freestyle, man. Tell me where they going at. Motherfucker put them on the spot. They like to run, though. I like nines on me, but I don't like Rondo. I see he with the <laughs> Lakers, feeling like a greater. In this bitch, I bury these bitches. I'm the undertaker. Toast land that been in the match, and she in the bed, though. Say so she gonna tell my old lady, man, that's a fair ho. I don't like to do it, cause them bitches really scared, though. I don't know where we finna go, but fuck it, go on paid, though. She want the $40. I make her go and holler. She said she want the toothpick. I gave her the fucking chopper. She said she <laughs> like the Uchi. I said I like the Walla. Nah, nah, I seen this bitch. Oh my god, she wanna go to the other side of the town. IDs, nah, bitch, we going on westbound. I ten in this bitch, feeling real blitz. Talking what you doing, ran through her like a blitz. Baby, just take it off. Man, she's a takeoff. I'm like, what you doing? Go ahead and take it off. She said she only do it because she only like to take it raw. <laughs> like the beat, man, it's never wrong. I put the rub on and I ain't stood on. Talking about I got a bit, you know she got a home. I'm in the bitch and feeling good on the podcast. Well, you know I do this shit Monday through Saturday, it's all gas. No breaks, nigga. No cake, nigga. 
Fuck it. She wanna go and eat the steak, nigga. All right. <laughs> Let's go. Y'all fire, bro. Yeah, DJ appreciate got a shot it. job, man. <laughs> nigga said, even with the beat <laughs> off, like, I can't hear it through my headphones. I'm still rapping. See what I had to do? I had to put one on, one off, nine, man. <laughs> hey, man, the devil. We never had that happen to the soundboard. Like, the bro. devil tried to stop us. Good, nigga still hey, went. Hey, man. Nigga say, I'm going crazy, I bro. Us, bro. We made, hey, look. And I, DJ say, he don't even rap, niggas. I don't even rap for real. <laughs> but I rap your ass up. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm, I'm God's people. I give you the rapture. That oh oh oh, <laughs> oh. praise God. <laughs> mm-hmm. And ball on the raptures. <laughs> I ain't gonna do no more. <laughs> No, nah, I definitely enjoyed it though for real. Yeah, man, for sure. It was a it was a great time having you on, man. Yes, sir. This is yeah. a hilarious episode. One of, one of, this, this might be top five episodes. Yeah, this has been a great episode. Top five episodes, I definitely bro. enjoyed it for real. Yes, Be- sir, uh, one of the best guests we've had in a while, man, man for sure. So it. I appreciate it. Plug, plug all your stuff, man. Yeah, yeah man. Brother. Hey man, if y'all want to follow me, man, you can follow me now I'm saying on if I tell you my Facebook, I got to spell that shit out for you. If I pronounce it, you try to go and write that shit, you're going to have a goddamn Floyd Mayweather moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? You can follow me on Facebook, Adonijah Malone. That's A-D-O-N-I-J-A-H Malone, M-A-L-O-N-E. That ain't no joke. That's just my name for real. But it's truth and shit, though. <laughs> Take it what you want. Uh, IG, man, DJ Malone 2010. DJ M-A-L-O-N-E 2010. Sure. Also live from the 904 L I V E F R O M D A 904. And that's on everything. That's on Twitter too. So you know what I'm saying? You follow me, I do follow back. Tap in network. We can make something happen for real. So it's all yeah, love. Yeah, Shout we out to We're definitely gonna be tapping in with you. For sure. Yeah, I appreciate it. this all we got too. We in there. We locked in. We what tapped you, in yeah. now. Well, yeah, you know, probably he promised us a trick daddy episode. Yeah. And a, a live from the 904 episode. And we about to be outside. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we gonna be outside. outside. <laughs> All that. You're going to be at this gala. I ain't going to be at that. <laughs> oh, but, yeah. uh, but the nigga shit, holla at me for I'll be there. <laughs> the other shit, I'll be there. The nigga say he only going to boxing matches. <laughs> <laughs> I'm there, but the, that boxing match was fun, bro. Bro, I'm I know how they would, man. I'm good drink, good look, there. good. Yeah, all that, man. Yeah, yeah. And it was nonsense of shit to look at. Yeah, make sure y'all check out live from the 904. Yeah. Hilarious, bro. For sure. Six, for days, sure. six days a week, bro. And uh, to our listeners, patreon.com yeah. slash Ario Podcast. Go ahead and tap in, bro. Girl, we talking five dollars. We talking five dollars. <laughs> five dollars. Just nothing but five dollars. <laughs> Seeing bro. that shit. Yeah, just go ahead. Just, it's just five bucks, bro. Sign for the Patreon. Get bonus episodes, man. Nah. A lot of shit. You can send in your listener questions. Yeah. You can send us shout outs, all kinds of stuff through the Patreon. And then tap in with us on Twitter as well. Yes, sir. Yeah. And then our YouTube, youtube.com slash random podcast. Go ahead and subscribe to that. Yes, indeed. And um, with all that said, she out.